Okay. Good evening and welcome to uh, Tippett Gymnasium here at Clarion University, Penn West Clarion, and it is uh, the Keystone Shortway Conference Volleyball Championships right here on the EYT Media Network. Mike Kalinowski along with Mike Kilroy as we get set to bring you our broadcast tonight. It is Gatesman's Auto Body KSAC Volleyball Championship Tournament right here on EYT. Tonight we're going to get started with our first match of the night, the number two seed Clarion area set to take on number three seed Red Bank Valley. And then the nightcap will be Clarion Limestone, the number one seed versus the four, uh, versus the four seed in Cranberry. Well, Mr. Kilroy, we're set for this one. This is all brand new this year as they bring the KSAC championships here to Tippett Gymnasium, much like they did uh, with uh, basketball. And I'll tell you what, crowd seems to be rolling in, and Pitt folks are pretty excited to see how yeah. this all plays out. Yeah, and we're close enough to the floor here where we can get a dig or a set if we wanted to. Um, we're like right on the floor, so this should be an interesting vantage point. But yeah, um, pretty neat. It's kind of like uh, kind of like uh, basketball where we had the uh, little uh, KSAC tournament to decide the, the conference championship. We got one for volleyball now, and you can tell these teams are excited to, to have a chance to win a KSAC title on the court, and not just throughout the course of the season through the standings. They can do it through a tournament setting, so it should be fun. Yeah, it should be a fantastic night here at uh, Tippett Gymnasium. I almost said Memorial Stadium. I don't know why. That's <laughs> because you, you're always there and you live there. Yeah. But here at Tippett Gymnasium at this early in the season, and, uh, we have a great crew with us tonight. Um, uh, Brad English right there is taking care of the engineering duties. We have Chase Steinman on our uh, mic guard on, on the uh, camera that he'll be going around getting some really good shots from around the gymnasium tonight. And uh, so some special stuff. I want to thank Ben Jewett, too, here at Clarion University for uh, taking care and helping us out with the feed that you're going to see here tonight as well, the main feed. We'll take the time out, and we're going to come back out here to uh, Tippin Gymnasium momentarily. Talk more about the match coming up. Clarion Red Bank Valley, our first match of the night here in the semifinals. It's Gatesman's Auto Body KSAC Volleyball Championship Tournament right here on the EYT Media Network. owned and operated Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving.
throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zocro Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zockrell Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZockrellMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zockrell Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64 Interstate 80 in Clarion. Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perk Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. You can afford a gorgeous, custom designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. Here at Tippin Gymnasium, it is the Keystone Shortway Conference Girls Volleyball Championships brought to you by Gates Madonna Body here on Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com. Mike Kalinowski, Mike Kilroy as we roll on here this evening. Uh, number two seed Clarion against number three seed Red Bank Valley to get things started. Should be a really competitive match early in the season. Red Bank did take a set from Clarion down there. They were down there for that one. And you hear the horns in the background as they'll keep switching around for the warm-up. So I always say in volleyball, they warm up longer than it takes to play the match. Yeah, they do have a really long warm-up time, which uh, I always thought was curious. Um, they get about 20 minutes. Each team, it's like a fire drill. One team runs on, one team runs off. Then they split it half and yeah. half. And even when they're, even when, like you see with Red Bank on, on the court, Clarion's over in the corner uh, playing Pepper. So... Uh, yeah, a lot of warm-up for uh, for a volleyball match. Uh, I guess I guess they need it. Um, but uh, this should be, like you said, this should be a good one. We saw these two teams play really early in the season, and uh, Red Bank played very well against Clarion. They, they took the first set. The other three sets were pretty competitive. Red Bank's been a very competitive team against just about everyone they played this year, and of course Clarion is Clarion. They have that one loss to CL. Other than that, they've really been playing well lately. They put Adewin, Addy, Campbell, a freshman, into that setter role exclusively. And since they've done that, they've really found something. They really have improved their attack. They got Hadley Campbell back, and it's also improved their attack. So uh, I think it's safe to say Clarion might be playing their best volleyball of the season right now, which is bad news for the KSAC and maybe bad news for the rest of District 9. So the player to watch, too, for, for Clarion is number three, Marley Klein. When Adley Campbell was out, she really excelled. She really shined. She's a middle hitter, but she can also uh, put down some kills. She's had double-digit kills just about every match she's played here down the stretch. She had 13 the other night. She's a force. She's tall, and she's a force. And for Red Bank, number 14, Taylor Ripple, she's uh, a difference maker for them in, in the middle. They really have three hitters who can all put the ball down. M Miley, Cla M not Miley Harmon, who... Uh, we all know who Miley Harmon is from basketball and track and field. <laughs> every sport. Yeah, we pretty much talk about her every time we, we uh, have a broadcast about how she can do anything uh, she sets her mind to do. And she's really transitioned to that hitter spot quite well this year. And uh, Izzy, Izzy Bond is another another uh, three-headed monster at the net. So uh, they're just going to have their hands full on defense tonight. Well, when you look at uh, the match, as you said, uh, Red Bank Valley, they kind of stick with about six girls for the most part. They will come off the bench if need be.
But uh, it's uh, Addison Bond, Elena Carrico, Miley Harmon, Izzy Bond, uh, Taylor Ripple, and uh, Kira Bonanno. Clearing an area, of course, that Sherry Campbell goes to the bench quite a bit, brings a lot of different players in. You know, you look at Klein, Babington, um, Addie Campbell, Alston, Hadley Campbell, Durish, but then Deal, Best, Copen, uh, Haver, and Burford all get uh, minutes as well on the court uh, for Clarion. Yeah, it's really a stark contrast between these two teams. Red Bank pretty much has their six players. They all see on the floor. They're six rotation players. Then you have Clarion who they have serving specialists. They have the libero. They have people who come in and off the court almost all the time. I don't think they have one player that stays on the court the whole time. So very different uh, ways to attack a, a match for these two coaches. But it's obviously it's worked for for both of them. They're here. They're in this tournament. They're in one of the top four teams in the KSAC. So we'll see what happens. All right. We're going to take another time out. We're going to come back. We'll pause about two minutes and we'll get set for team introductions, the national anthem, and more here from Tippin Gymnasium. Tonight it is Gates Manzano Body Keystone Shortway Conference Girls Volleyball Championships. We're in the semifinals tonight, Red Bank, Clarion area, and you're watching it all live right here on the EYT Media Network. Located at 511 Main Street in Shippenville, All-American Awards and Engraving is expanding to provide even better customer service with that personal small town feel. From embroidery to engraving to screen printing to personalized gifts, All-American Awards and Engraving is ready to help you make your organization, business, school team, or event stand out with All-American Awards and Engraving's quality promotional products. Visit their showroom for apparel, trophy, and awards ideas at 511 Main Street or visit their website at allamericanhq.com. Hi, my name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. It's always been well known in the community as a great local employer. Very family oriented company. Brookville has a really great benefits plan here. We're pretty diverse in what we do from mining to streetcars to locomotives. We're helping the infrastructure of the country. Medical insurance, dental, vision, competitive wages, paid time off. It's an opportunity. It's something that you can enjoy doing. And you can apply right through our website. Some of the fans are filtering in to enjoy this uh, volleyball doubleheader tonight here on the EYT Media Network. It is Gates Men's Auto Body, KSAC Girls Championships. Here in the semifinal round here tonight, we go to the championship round tomorrow night. Consolation game and then the championship game will be coming up. Well, I'll tell you what, two teams very familiar with each other. Uh, all of these teams familiar with each other here coming out of the conference, but Two that have battled hard over the years. Lock horns here in this opening set, uh, this opening match. And new this year, it is all here at Tippin Gymnasium, the Keystone Shortway Conference Championship. They're doing it just like they did basketball. So these teams, uh, again, starting next week, would be in the District 9 playoffs, and we'll be bringing those to you, too. Of course, Clarion and Red Bank would be in different divisions at that point. Red Bank double A's. 
Uh, no, no, they're single they're A single this year. A. Yeah, they're, they're single A this year. I made yeah, that they're mistake part of that, early. That two-year cycle, they're That's still right. single A. So these two could meet. Uh, Tari Limestone at single A. And Cranberry would be double A, though, right? Cranberry's double A. All right, so Cranberry CL's that second one. The officiating crew comes over, getting ready to go here. And, and we're going to go over to the uh, scorer's table here momentarily. We'll get the anthem coming up, and we're going to bring it all to you. Tari and Red Bank here get set to do battle in... Game number one. Winners will be drawn between sets two and three. First and the final match features the Lady Bulldogs from Red Bank Valley as the visiting team. And the Lady Bobcats from Clarion area as the home team. Your paid admission to this event entitles you to enjoy an exhibition of skills developed by these student athletes. Please give them your positive encouragement. Booing, taunting, and intimidating the officials and or opponents is unfriendly and unacceptable. Please keep off the court at all times. Fans will not be permitted to enter this event if they are not wearing a shirt. They will also be required to wear a shirt at all times, or they will be required to leave the contest facility. The presence and or the use of balloons, banners, noisemakers, pom poms, shakers, handheld signs, towels, and whistles are prohibited. Failure to comply with the stated conference rules will result in removal from the facility. Your officials for tonight's first semifinal contest are referee number one, Donna Leonard, referee number two, Kayla Gold, line judges, Ken Mortimer, and Joey Lacombe. And now, ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise for the playing of our national anthem, and gentlemen, we ask that you kindly remove your hats. Junior 
outside hitter, number 22, Hadley Campbell. And senior right side hitter, number 21, Taylor Alston. Head coach for Claire and Aaron is Sherry Campbell. Assistant coach, Tracy Durish, and volunteer coach, Sam Peter. Well, there we Good go. Both teams tonight. Team introductions all done. Dave Constantino, Punxsutawney Hall of Famer, Dave Constantino. Got to make sure we get that in. Bob Dunkel said, you always got to make sure you remember that with Dave. He gets upset. He loves that Chuck background. Well, Mr. Kilroy, here we go. First time ever. This is the uh, Gatesman's Auto Body. Keystone Shortway Athletic Conference Volleyball Championships here at Tippin Gymnasium. Yeah, it's uh, you can kind of feel the electricity. It feels like a playoff atmosphere already. Teams get ready to shake hands as they come on. And there we go. The handshake is all official, and then we're just about moments away from the tip-off here. Our serve will be coming up. Second uh, contest coming your way tonight. It is Cranberry at the uh, Clarence Limestone. Cranberry is the number four seed, and the Lions are the number one seed. There he is there, too. Good shot from up above, and we got Jumpin' Joey over there. Well, I don't know if we saw him yet or not. There he is, Jumpin' Joey Lacombe. Work in the back corner. Yeah, that Cranberry CL matchup should be an interesting one. Cranberry, of course, has Ayana Ferringer, who is the KSAC MVP that came out yesterday. And she's one heck of a player. They're going to have their hands full with her. But of course, CL, everyone has their hands full with CL because they can just bring wave after wave after wave at the net at you. They can play defense. They can serve. They can set. They're the complete team. All right, out there, uh, we have Alston getting ready to serve, and we're underway. Good dig out. Frontier on the left side, on the attack. And hits the antenna. Yep, hits the antenna, hit goes out of that uh, left side there. It's kind of like the foul pole, except it's actually the foul <laughs> pole in, uh, in volleyball, where if you hit it, it's out. As Yvonne hit it over, here's Clarino on the attack. That was Babington. Ball controlled by Carrico into the middle. That's Ripple. Now Clarion with it on this left side. Campbell, they're going to say. Five hits on the side? They're going to say something, right? Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't quite make that out. Whatever, it's a point for Clarion. All right. So there we go. Two, uh, Red Bank did here. something wrong. Ball hit into the net. Service error by Alston. Point now serving here we have Izzy Bond. You didn't say it right, it's Bond. Izzy Bond. That's right. Served by Bond. We got by Alston up front. And on the backside, Campbell tips it over the net. Here we go. Over to Harmon. Hartman hits it off the top of the net. Clary leads it here by a score of three to one. Good idea, not enough juice. He was trying to tip it just over the net, have it drop in a pretty unheadable, returnable position, but didn't quite get, get enough on it. Babington's going to hit it into the net for the service there, 3-2. That's a uh, service error as we've seen so far two. by Clarion. Yeah, the two Red Bank Valley points have come on service errors so far. Lady Carrico with the serve. Back up on the backside by Durish up front. Big swing there by uh, Burford in the middle. She'll get the kill. Four to two here. Nice shot by Burford in the middle that time. She's another one of those interchangeable parts that Clarion seems to throw out there. She'll get her handful of kills. She'll, she'll uh, contribute to victories. Served by Durish. Over to Carrico. And now on the backside, that's Ripple. And Ripple's going to get the kill. A uh, nice job by Ripple, 4-3. Saw this in the early match. Nip and tuck the whole way. Serving is uh, Taylor Ripple. 
Well dug out by Klein, and then coming over to try. Klein went off Klein kind of oddly, and uh, Addie Campbell tried to come over to make a play, but it goes out of bounds. That was a very well-placed serve. She's going for that just inside that line. She put it right where she needed to. It makes it really hard to get a pass, get their offense going. Olsen digs it. Campbell over to Klein. Klein with a big swing. Ball intercepted, and then uh, Carrico hits it up to the middle, and the point goes to Clarion Aww. Aries. That hit goes out by Ripple. We already saw the high ceilings here are going to are going to be nice for these teams. They don't have to worry about hitting rafters, hitting lights, hitting anything that's hanging down. I talked to Izzy Bond, actually. She made a comment before the game. She's trying to get used to the high ceilings. Perfect with the serve. Bond hits it over the net. Ball tipped back over. Very nice job that time by Addie Campbell. She'll get the kill that time. Just tipped it right over the net. Sometimes it's not the big hit that gets it. 6-4. Yeah, when your setter can get a kill, you're pretty happy with that. She, she's kind of smirking. She knows, yeah, that's probably the one kill I'm going to have this month. So. <laughs> Ripple with the dig. There's a bond hitting it over the net. Burford, Campbell, and then the ball's going to be nice. A job on that attack by Babington to get the kill. 7-4 now. Clarion extends by three. Clarion playing well. I mean, they've given up. It's 7-4, it's but two of those points for Red Bank are in service error, so. Burford serving. Well, it into the those points. Yeah, another service error by Clarion. Harmon back uh, to serve here. Campbell with the dig. Eddie Campbell over to Klein. Hits it into the net. 7-6. Back within a point here is Red Bank Valley. Yeah, I think Klein thought that set was going to go a little bit higher. She was up in the air. Had to hit it at a low angle, and it hit the net. I got by Alston. Campbell over to Klein. Klein tips it over the net. Carrico with the intercept. Bond up front. Tipped over. Nice shot by Izzy Bond. Now Alston with a little tip. She'll get the kill in the middle. Saw it open up, and she saw it, uh, that no one was there. Found the perfect spot. Yeah, there's always that little dead zone when the blockers are going up the block and, and the back row is waiting for that, for that big swing to come. There's that little dead zone there, and if you can tip it in there, you're going to get a point nine times out of ten, and that's what happened there. Ball into the middle, hit over there by uh, Bonanno. Klein on the attack, and that's going to go for the point, the kill by Klein. I've been surprised we haven't been hit yet, but that one we got a little closer. Well, we have the uh, the, the, the official on the uh, on the stairs. She might protect us a little bit for some reason. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Campbell with the serve. It's Addie Campbell. In the middle, Ripple, puts it over the net. Good dig by Durich. Now Alston, just off the top of the net. Carrick goes there, Bonds there, and then hit into the net that time by Ripple. It's just a miss hit. <laughs> you have those throughout the course of a match. 10-6. Clever leads here, Addie Campbell. With the serve. Bond sends it over to Izzy Bond. Now got by Durich, but Bond will get the kill on that left side. That was a nice attempt at a, a dig by, by Durish. She got her hand under it, just couldn't get it up in the air. That is Bond serving. Durish. Campbell sends it over to uh, Klein that time, and Klein's going to hit it long, 10 not, or 10 8 the score. Rubik's hanging in there. Every time it looks like Clarence is going to pull away, maybe get a good 4 or 5 point lead. They come back with a point or two to kind of make it a two-point match again, a set again. So Red Bank, that's all they want to do. They just want to hang in there, win it late maybe. Burrish sends it up. Eddie Campbell into the middle. And Alston put it over the net. There's uh, Bond, and uh, Bond is going to get called for the carry. 11-8. Well, we have four officials here, so they're not going to miss much nope. today. Fine on the serve, hits it up the top of the net, doesn't go over. 11-9. Four service errors to set for Clarion. 
A little uncharacteristic. They're they're aggressive. And when you're aggressive, you're going to hit the net. You're going to have service errors. You're going to go long. But I don't know if Campbell's going to be happy with four of them this early in this, in this set. All hit over that time by Campbell. And then back over the net. That was Garrett, though, on this right side. Getting the kill. Nice job. Was that right? Nice swing on the free ball yep. for, uh, for Carrico. <clears throat> kind of weird being down here on the court. Usually we try to I know, hard, it's but a little I like different it so perspective. Yeah. A little different perspective, but. First, Eddie over to uh, her sister. Hits it over top of the net. Fun. Fine. Back into the middle. Tipped over that time. And how about Deal getting the kill in the middle? 12-10. Another one of those uh, players that Clarion cycles in, deal, and she, she makes an impact too. They're going to have a, a bunch of players with four or five kills throughout the course of a, of a match. But it gets the job done. Alston, Nono intercepted, and then there's Ripple. Alston hits it. Campbell kept it alive. Does it go over? It does. Good job that time by Babington. Ball into the middle. Here's Ripple with a big swing and kill. Ripple makes it 12-11. Again, we're seeing this again. They're hanging in there. It's a one point, one point set. They haven't lied, but uh, they've been within one or two points pretty much the whole set. Durish, Eddie in the middle, hit by Burford. Oh, and coming back trying to get that dig was Carrico, but a good job on the left side and that kill, 13-11. That was a little bit of a tweener. She didn't know whether to, to go under it or, or, or over it. and. When you're in between like that, sometimes that happens. You just basically hit it right into the ground, right into the floor. Okay, well, the attack gets the kill. It's tipped there by Bonanno. Edley Campbell with the kill on the left side, 14-11. It's good to see her swinging again. She missed about two weeks with a shoulder injury, shoulder soreness. Luckily, it wasn't too severe. She, she's coming back. When she uh, she gets a good set and gets a good swing on it, she's as good as they are in, in the KSAC in District 9. Set up here to Harmon. Hartman's going to get the kill. Got that uh, right side there. Got it inside the line. Cross court uh, kill. That's a real art form. That's hard to do. So you have to be accurate, and you still have to have enough zip on it to, to get it over the blockers, to get it through the blockers. So nice hit by uh, Harmon there. Perico with the serve. Campbell's going to set it. And on the attack is Hadley. Kept alive here by Clarion. Getting the ball over is, uh, Bana or is uh, Burford, and she'll get the kill. 15-12. Back is Durish. Natalie Durish. I got by Harmon up front. Back to Harmon. Harmon's just going to tip it over the net, and she'll get it. Durish came up, made a great leaping attempt, but Durish will get, or uh, Harmon will get the kill. 15-13. You can tell Harmon's a very smart player for someone who, you know, uh, has moved around positions for Red Bank over the years. She just has a knack around the net of tipping it, knowing when to tip it, knowing when to swing. Ball set up. Nice job by Klein to get that over without hitting it out of bounds. Here's Harmon on the other side. Kicks it to Hadley Campbell. Hadley Campbell and now hit over by Babington. Back up front it goes. That's Carrico. Carrico then Bonanno. Ball to the middle. Big swing in the middle by Burford, and she'll get the kill, and it's 16-13. Her third kill of this set. Burford's had a nice uh, start to this match. And serving is Burford. How often do you see someone get the kill, then they're serving? Yeah, like we've talked about this before, it's like, Baseball, someone making a great defensive play to end an inning, and then they come up the bat to start the home half or the the next the next half inning. So Ripple with the dig and then right up to Harmon, and Harmon's going to get the kill, makes it 16-14. Harmon's getting it going here a little bit. That's three kills in the last uh, five points. Yeah, nobody really pulling away here. It's been pretty close. Bradley Campbell hits it over on the dig. Biggest lead's been three by Clarion. That's it. Alston. Now Harmon up front, that's uh, to Carrico, and then hit over the net on the left side by Bond. That's Izzy Bond, gets the point, 16-15. Serving is Harmon. Good 
Dig, Addy. Hit up, hit over the net there by Alston. Harmon from the back. And Harmon's going to get the point. Larry unable to control that one there, and it's 16-16. We're tied. That was an interesting uh, <laughs> offensive set there. It uh, was. You don't see a set going back to the back row very often, but it worked. Again, Harm what can't Harmon do? I mean, that, that's something that you just can't teach, that kind of a hit from the back row. Well, Blaine, just has to have a way and that, and that for it. Blaine Gold's going to put her on the football team is what I heard. How about that serve, and eight? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I, would, I, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, she could probably find a, a way to, uh, to help that team somehow. There's a timeout there, and uh, they're 17-16 the score. We'll hold right here for this uh, first, timeout. First lead for Red Bank <laughs> yeah. in this match. They battled back, and uh, one of these matches, too, as you said, too, kind of uncharacteristic. A lot of service errors for Clarion in this first match, but it has been uh, back and really, really close the whole way, but then uh, Harmon with the serve, getting the ace and the kill. You know, Herman with th three, uh, four kills and an ace now. And the most, all those have come in the last, what, eight points. So yeah. she started to get it going. Burford has three kills for Clarion. Clarion's all spread out when it comes to the attack. Um, even their setter has a kill. So yep. you know, I think I think uh, all all six players on the floor right now have have a kill. And them. you said they yeah. all would at some point, yeah. They all will at some point, yeah. So. All right, here we go, 17-16. Red Bank Valley leads it here. Sherry Campbell took the timeout. Harmon to serve. Yeah, four straight points for Red Bank. They're down 16-13, or now up 17-16. Serve dug out by Hadley Campbell, goes over the net. Vaughn sets it to the middle, Ripple hits it over. Ball intercepted, and now it's got to go over the net. Campbell does it. Good job by Hadley. There's Carrico hitting it up to the middle, then tipped over the net by Bonanno. And Bonanno is going to get it for Red Bank Valley. Uh, make that, whoop, excuse me, 18-16 now, Red Bank. So Red Bank, their biggest lead. It's two. It's right here. Here's Harmon. But by Alston up front. Eddie Campbell over to Klein. Blocked by Bonanno. And it's the point, though, is going to go to Clarion. It is blocked, but it falls into the Red Bank side. Yeah, Red Bank was starting to celebrate. I think they thought it was blocked to do on, on the other side of the net, but it was on their side. <laughs> so they were like, oh, okay, well, well nice try, though. Eddie Campbell. Dug here by Harmon. She'll hit it back over the net here at Harmon. Is it out? It is out on that left side, so we're tied at 18 again. 18-18. What we expected out of these two. They've been calling for the tip, hoping to get a, get a tip call. They didn't get it. Ball goes off of Ripple, saved there by Harmon up front, and uh, that is Bond sending it over. Up front, Addie Campbell to the middle. Fight for it there. Good uh, hit by Durish, and then back to the right side, Alston. But Alston's going to hit it long. They're going to say Red Bank go into the net. That gives Clarion the point. That's a big error that time because Red Bank would have had the point. 19-18. Clarion gets the point. And Clarion's the one battling back now. They were down by two. They've scored three straight points to take the lead again. Oh, what a serve by Campbell. Addy Campbell hits the top of the net, hung there for a second, and fell in for the point. Yeah, not much you can do with those when those hit the net like that. You have to have very, very cat-like reflexes and just couldn't do it. Harmon sends it over. And that is Alston on the attack. Is it, is it in? It is in on this left side. Great kill by Alston. 21-18. Timeout. So Red Bank coach uh, Anderson will use a timeout. We'll break this time, too. You're watching... Uh, Gatesman's Auto Body KSAC Volleyball Champions Championship Tournament right here on the EYT Media Network. What college is seen as and how college 
works is changing. Students are concerned with debt. Through scholarships and grants, I didn't pay anything last year. They even paid for my books. You, you, can't, you can't beat it. Like, why, why would I say no to that? Back here at Tip and Jim. Time out taken by Coach Anderson this time. 21-18 is the Lady Bobcats of Clarion with the advantage. Here's the serve by Addie Campbell. Dug out by Ripple. Harmon sends it to the middle. Bonanno hits it over the net. Dig out, dug out there by Durish. Here's Klein on the attack line. Good job with the intercept on the back line by Ripple. Here's Bond on the left side tipping it over. Good dig that time by Klein. Now the ball sent over by Hadley Campbell. Is it... Out it is. Nice job by Ripple. She didn't. She almost came in contact with that ball, but did not. The point goes to Red Bay. It was one of those where you're going after it, and you're, oh man, this is going to be out. So I better put the put the brakes on, and she almost ran into the ball. That is a bond serving. All hit over by Deal. Comes right back over to Bond. Blocked in the point on the right side. That's Alston getting the block. And it's 22-19. Alston's kind of their Swiss Army knife. She can do anything. She can set. She can swing. She gets blocks. She's a good server. She gets digs. She does just about everything for them. Klein with the ace. Red Bank almost like froze that time. But that's her by Klein. 23-19. Clarion edges. Closer to getting the first uh, set here. Yeah, Harmon and Bond were looking at each other like, I thought you had it. No, I thought <laughs> you had it. He kind of hit right between them. Going right through the uprights for a field goal there. It's Klein. That time it sails long. So 23-20, Red Bank with the serve. Bonanno to serve. And Bonanno hits it into the net for the service error. So set point here. Yeah, that one really hurts. When, you're, when, you're, when your opponent's at 23, the margin of error is pretty much nil. It is. And a service error really puts you in a tough spot now. <laughs> Alston got tired of waiting for the ball to come back here. She ran up and grabbed it. <laughs> Alston serving here. Bonanno picks it up here. Ripple sends it over the net. We've got by Klein into the middle and Burford with the hit. Into the middle, Ripple again tipping it over. Nice dig that time by Alston. Campbell, Babington. Ripple to Bond. Bond hits it long and there you go. Clarion gets the first set. 25 to 20. So Clarion wins set number one. We'll take a time out here. Pause a couple of minutes, and we'll be back out to tip and gymnasium. Match number one tonight, Clarion a winner over uh, Red Bank here in the first set. Go to set number two, Gatesman's Auto Body Volleyball Championship Tournament is live right here on Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com. Cut your cooling costs this summer? With a highly efficient air conditioning system, you can save up to 50% in energy costs while enjoying more consistent temperatures throughout your home. Call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and AC at 814-226-8695 to schedule a free evaluation of your system and learn how you can move up to a new level of comfort and efficiency this summer.
All right, back here at Tippett Gymnasium. Got the marching band bringing us back in. And we're getting set here for set number two tonight, 25-20. Clarion wins the first here in the was, first semifinal. That was kind of, kind of what we expected uh, from the first set. Both teams going back and forth, each having the lead pretty late. Red Bank coming back, taking a two-point lead, and then Clarion storming back and, and, and taking that first set. So uh, good good first competitive set. We'll see what happens after this. So if you're Red Bank, you're like, you know what, we're right there. We get this one, it's going to be the best of three. If you're Clarion, you're like, let's just put them away. Let's get this one, and we're up 2-0, and then we're in pretty good shape. So this is a, you know, they're all important, but the second one's important. And, uh, for, for especially for uh, for Red Bank, they need to they, uh, they can't go down too low yep. because then you really you really your back's really against the wall. All right, get set to start here. Set number two. CL's having fun up there, get, waiting for their match. They're dancing to the music. They're pretty loose. Cranberry left. I don't know where they went. They were yeah. behind us. Well, here we go. And getting ready to serve here is uh, Bond. Is he bought? Is he bought? Uh, talk to Constantino over there and tell him how he needs to pronounce that name. Here we go, set number two. Campbell over to Hadley Campbell. That is going to go long. One nothing here, Red Bank Valley. Bond again. Here's the serve. Burrish with the dig out. Here's ha Campbell over to Hadley. And block. Nice oh. job that time by Ripple at the net. Very nice block by Ripple. She's a pretty impressive player in the, in the that she can pretty much do everything, too, on the court. We saw her get a, day, a big time dig earlier. She's got some kills. Big time block there. Served by Bonds. Halston sends it up. Campbell tipped over by Burford. Bond over to Harmon. Set up front by Durish to Campbell. And then Babington will get the kill. Partially blocked, and then it falls in for the point. 2-1. Durish to serve. Durish to serve. Served by Durish, and that is out. So service error, and it is now 3-1. to one. Point Red Bank. Red Bank. Service error trend continues for Clarion. That's uh, number six in the match. Red Bank has just one. Elena Carrico with the serve. Campbell to Burford. And tipped over by Ripple. Good job there. Nice dig by Klein. Here's uh, Babington on the attack. And not a whole lot that time Carrico was going to do as that ball was into the net. 3-2 the score now. Burford ready here for the serve. Bonanno on the backside. There's Ripple tipping it over the net. Dug out by, what a great job that time by Burford. It was dug out by Burford, went over the net, found an empty spot somehow. Yeah, it's just on that dead that? spot. We saw uh, Ripple and Bond, Eddie Bond were looking like they, they knew they couldn't get to it, so they just kind of were kind of helpless watching it fall to the floor. Ball right over the net. That was Carrico trying to be sneaky, but the clearing there now in the middle. Here's Ripple with the kill in the middle. Carrico's uh, set really set that one up. Perfect set. Let uh, Ripple go up and take a nice big swing. Ripple to serve. So now Ripple goes back to serve here. That is uh, Taylor Ripple. She's a junior. Yeah, Ribbank just has the one senior, Izzy Bond. Came into the middle. Alston has it tipped, and it's going to fall in. I'll tell you what, it got tipped as got tipped that second time, and you saw the back line for Red Bank trying to make a play when it got tipped that second time. It was going to be a point for Clarion. Yeah, and Clarion only has one senior. Taylor Alston, so uh, yeah, both these teams young. pretty young. Eddie mm -hmm. Campbell to serve. Bond to Bond. Campbell comes back. Here's the attack. 
blocked by Klein and now controlled by Red Bank. Bond with the big swing. I got from the back line by um, Hadley Campbell. Alston sends it back over the net. Up front, that is Carrico. Big swing by Harmon, but it's going to go wide. 5-4, Clarion leads. Yeah, we saw her uh, execute that really well, that cross-court kill attempt in the last set. This time, just a little long going for that, uh, that spot there. So... Here's Campbell with the serve. Right down the line, but it's going to go out. Another service area here for Clarion. Makes it 5-5. Yep. Clarion has always been very aggressive on the serve. They're trying to find dead spots. They're, they're doing the float serves. They're, they're doing the you know low, trying to get it just over the net serves. So they're going to have some service errors. Hartman with the serve. Jerry digs it out, sends it up front. And Deal. Just a miss hit that time by Deal. I don't know if the whole, well, the set was that. It was blocked by the official, but... I think she just, she just missed it. She just went up and took a swing and just mishit it. It's going to happen. 6-5 Red Bank, Alston. Campbell, now it's got to go over, and Hadley Campbell's going to hit it into the net. It's 7-5 Red Bank. Miley Harmon to serve. Yeah, there's different serving philosophies. Some coaches like Campbell are very aggressive. They... They can live with some of those service errors. Some a little bit more conservative. Just get the ball over as best you can. By Bond. Bond's going to get the kill on the left side. Is he Bond? 8 5 Red Bank. Clarion won the first 25 20. Red Bank leads here by three. Harmon with the serve. That goes out. So 8 6. Yeah, Red Bank's starting to get their offense kind of cooking a little bit. They're getting in system. They're getting good passes, good sets. They're getting the ball up there nice to their hitters. And they're taking big swings and getting the ball down. Sophomore Marley Klein to serve. Served by Klein. Service error again for Clarion. Boy, that is a lot for about a set and a, it's eight not now. even a half. It's eight now. They have five the first set, three this set. Yeah, I think uh, you, know, you want to be aggressive, but you don't want to give away eight points at this stage of the match. That's for sure. Patty Bond hits it over. That could come back to haunt you, especially in this one when you're already down by three. Bond tried to just sneak that over the net easily. Did Izzy Bond, but it doesn't work. 9-7. Alston to serve here for Clarion area. Just over the net, good job, Ripple. To Carrico, and then over the net by Bonanno. Ball falls, point for Red Bank. Clarion had it set up there, and they, they kind of froze too that time, 10-7. I'll tell you what, I think these players are going to get spoiled by these high ceilings because <laughs> We've, I've seen a number tonight that would have hit something just about every gym in the district. So they're getting spoiled. When they go back to uh, gyms again, they're going to have trouble adjusting, I think. Jericho saves it. Now it's got to go over. Harmon does. Big here by Darius. Campbell sends it over the net. I got on the other side. Carrico goes Good over side. to Bond. Bond with the swing. Alston up front to Campbell. Babington with the hit. Dug out on this uh, left side here by Carrico in the middle. Ripple, Ripple, bangs it around, and uh, they do get it over the net. And the point, it's Hadley Campbell with a kill on the left side, 10-8. That was a nice rally we saw there. Both teams keeping the ball alive, keeping the point alive. Campbell finally ended it with a nice swing at the, swing at the ball in the attack. Oh, and, and the lefty nice. that time, uh, that's Babington. You know, that's one thing, too. You can see how it messed up the defense a little bit. It, that ball comes off differently, too, with the left-hander. Yeah, left-handers are always trouble in sports, it seems like. Left-handed pitchers, left-handed hitters, and, and volleyball players are the same. Another ace. We're tied at 10, and Coach Anderson's going to use a timeout. We'll break back with more 10-10 here in the second. Clarion leads one set to none. It's Gatesman's Auto Body, KSAC Volleyball Championships right here on the EYT Media Network. He's on the 30, he's on the 20, he's on the 10, it's a touchdown! There's nothing like football. The lights, the cheers of the crowd, 
and getting a chance to see our local athletes and kids give it all they've got. Come to a game. Support our local schools. Clarion County Community Bank. A better way to bank. Member FDIC. Visit us online at clarionbank.com. Back hit uh, Tippett Gymnasium. Chase is going to break his camera with the honest old guys. <laughs> nope. Getting set. There's no, no filters on these faces. No. This is what we look like. That's right. It's ugly, folks. <laughs> Harmon with the dig. We're tied at 10 in the middle. Ball sent over by Bond. There's a Babington with the intercept. Tripping that time was Campbell, but back over the net. Good job by Hadley Campbell. Carrico to the middle, Ripple. They're going to call the carry here on Carrico. 11-10, Clarion. Another interesting parallel between these two teams. They both have a freshman setter now. So uh, Carrico's a freshman. Campbell's, Eddie Campbell's a freshman. So Carrico middle, Harmon. Alston. Campbell sets it back up, and that ball's going to be tipped. Fight oh, battle at the net, and Redbank's going to win that battle. That was a dunk and yeah. a block by Ripple. Yeah, Ripple on that left side. Tied at 11. Izzy Bond serving. Hadley Campbell hits it into the net. 12-11 here, Red Bank Valley. Here's Izzy Bond. And Bond hits it into the net. Rare service error here by Red Bank. 12-12, we're tied. Yeah, it's only their third. Clearing is eight, so. Durish to serve. Sends that deep, and it is not touched. It's out. 13-12, Red Bank on that uh, service error. That was close, though. Banana almost made contact <laughs> with that ball as it was going over Jump. the end line. Jumping Joey Lacombe back there. He's all over that one. That was, uh, that was close to a muff punt kind of situation there. Carrico with the serve dug up by Klein. Comes right back to Klein. And Klein will have that block by Ripple in the middle. I believe Ripple got the block there. It's no, I think, it, I think she hit it, it right it into the net. I think okay. it was just bam right into the net. It's 14. hard to tell because the ball, <laughs> ball comes so fast off their, uh, off their swings. Even though we're right on top of it, it's still hard to tell sometimes. It is hard. Here's uh, Klein again. On to the middle. Carrico sends it back over to Harmon. Harmon on the attack. I, mean, I give these officials in. a lot of credit for being able to referee the sport, which is very fast. Point's going to go to uh, Clarion. They're going to call the, the one person underneath the net. Good call that time, actually, by the official. The player was over. 14-13. Burford serving. Got and Ripple has to get it over, but does not here. 14 14 more time. This has been back and forth. Burford serving here for Clarion area. Nice serve. Dig by Banana. Nice serve and dig. Uh huh. Ball sent over by a, uh, Addie Campbell. Now back up front, Hartman on the attack. And Hartman's going to get the kill. kill for <clears throat> a lot of hard hitting in that uh, series. Yeah, there, there's, some, uh, there's some players who can really put some juice on, uh, on these swings. Ball dumped in, Hadley Campbell to Addy Campbell and over to um, Klein. And then it's going to be hit out of bounds that time by Addison Bond. So 15 15, we're tied. Kind of a repeat of the last set where teams went back and forth. Very competitive, very close all the way through. Deal checks in here for Clarion. Served by Addie Campbell. Carrico to Bonanno. Back line, that's Jurish up front. Campbell sets it up. Alston on the attack block there. Kept alive by Clarion. Here's uh, Fine. And it's going to go off a ripple and out of bounds. And it's 16 15, Clarion. You saw Coach Anderson yeah. go. Ugh. <laughs> it, it, the ball went off of her, too. 
So even Coach Anderson couldn't get a dig on that one. That's right. And a camel. Dug up by Harmon. Carrico to the middle. Ripple's going to put it over the net. Alston, Campbell, back over to Klein. Klein, and it's going to go off of Bonanno. And out of bounds, killed by Klein on the left side, 17-15, Clarion. Three straight kills by Klein. She's getting it going there on that left side. Addie Campbell with the serve. Dug out, and it's going to hit the front. Of our uh, scores table here, that was uh, Izzy Bond. Aim she was aiming for Brett that time. Well, that's the closest we've I come to, to having contact to her uh, position <laughs> here. So, 18-15. Which is kind of uh, amazing considering we're toward the end of the second set and that's the closest uh, friendly fire we've faced. Well, hit over by Harmon, but she's going to send that long, 19-15. Clarion now starting to pull away by four. This is when Clarion's pulled away that last set. This is kind of when they, they make their hay. When it gets down to this late part of the, to the match, like almost like, quote, unquote, the third quarter, that's when they kind of make their push to 20. All right, why don't we just, we'll just hold here now. Let you know, Sorry, coming up on, winded. that's all right, Friday nights, we're going to be back in action, too. We'll have the KSAC, Gatesman's Auto Body KSAC Volleyball Championships today and tomorrow. Coming up on Friday night, we'll be at Clarion Limestone High School as the Central Clarion Wildcats will take on uh, St. Mary's, the Flying Dutchman. Brett only knows the Flying Dutchman from SpongeBob. That's where he remembers it from. The Dutch. So they're coming down. They, ha they have, must have the, the most nicknames of any, any school. Yep. Flying Dutchman, they're known as that. The Flying Dutchman, the Dutch, the Dutchman. I've heard them call it just about everything like that, with, well, with Dutch in it. Chris Drorick and uh, his crew up there will be coming down. A crazy thing, too, when I started broadcasting um, at the college back when I was 18, 19 years old, Chris Drorick was playing football at Clarion University, too. So He's been around a while. We were all there. He's one of the great minds in District 9 football, that's for sure. I'll tip over the net quickly. Eddie Campbell to Alston. She'll send it over. Carrico. Miley Harmon has it blocked. Nice job. Alston's going to get the block on the right side, 20 to 15. Deal is up there with the support. Well, if you're a red bank now, you really have to staunch the bleeding here because it's starting to get away from you. Five point deficit. Here we go. Put over by Bonanno. Durish up front. Big swing by Deal. Let's say by. A bond, and then Carrico middle, Ripple. Ripple gets the kill. It was tipped there in the middle by Deal. Ripple will get the kill, 20 to 16. There's another thing to consider, too. Clarion does sub a lot. Red Bank doesn't sub at all. They got to be getting tired. It, it, you know, this has been a very frenetic match. Long, long rallies. At that time, uh, the ball was dug up by Darius, but Campbell can't... Uh, Catch up to it. Red Bank will get the point now. Here they're down by three. You know, I know they've been doing this all year, but it's still got to be tough on them. Hard and sense of wide on the service there. Clarion back up by four. Chase getting some wild reverse shots here for us. Good serve that time. And with a net dug out by Copenhaver and Hadley Campbell. That actually hit, yeah. hit up there. It actually did hit. Yeah, you're right. It hit one of those. It hits way up there, too, here at Tip and Jim. Point goes to Clarion 22 17. Copenhaver serving. Yeah, you have to. You have to do some serious work to get it up in these <laughs> rafters. And uh, she was able to do it. There's a serve just off the top of the net. Yeah. Nice serve that time by Copenhaver. Can't yep. do it any better than that. No, and a nice to try that time by Ripple, but point goes to Clarion. There's the serve, Copenhaver off Ripple. And up front, and Bonanno puts it over the net. Durish up front, tipped fight there at the net. They're going to call the, did they call here? 
We're going to give the point here to Red Bank Valley. They're going to say it was an error on the side of Clarion. Not sure what. That was a very dramatic pause before yeah, we yeah. found out what, what, was the, <laughs> what the call was. So 23-18 the score. Well, teams just looking like, okay, oh, wait. Well, what happened? A nice, long, dramatic pause. Served by Addison Bond. Big swing there by Burford. Nice dig by Harmon. In the middle, Ripple sends it over. Nice job by Alston to send it over the net. Here's Carrico to the middle. Bonanno. And Bonanno is going to have that get the point as she sends it over in the block, but it goes on the Clarion side. It's, um, no, I think it hit the net, actually. Oh, well, they gave it to Clarion? Yeah, Clarion. Yeah, I think it hit All the right. net. I thought she pointed this way. But my fault. 24-18. Clarion here with the set point. Alston with the serve. Harmon up front to Carrico. Carrico to the middle to Bond. Bond puts it over the net. Dug out by Alston. Campbell over to Hadley Campbell. Campbell, and they're going to get the kill. This Hadley Campbell, and it is a 25 to 18 win for Clarion Area as they get set number two. And we'll take about a two minute timeout. We're going to come back with more. Third set on the way here in the opening match of the Gatesman's Auto Body KSEC Volleyball Championship Tournament. It's all right here on Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave, you've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there, Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know, Tio Nesta Builders. Tio Nesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tio Nesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tianestabuilders.us. U.S. Back here at uh, Tippin Gymnasium, Gatesman's Auto Body KSAC Volleyball Championship Tournament right here on the EYT Media Network. Mike Kalinowski, Mike Kilroy, MK1, MK2. We need more MKs around here. <laughs> we were just happy the other night that Dustin Kuiper wasn't around with Dave Cadis's keys to the game with Mike Kalinowski and Mike Kilroy. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, a lot of Ks in yeah, our uh, that's right. in our outfit. Well, Here's the first serve here. It's going to be tipped, fly at the line, saved there by Ripple, sent over by Bond. There's Alston from the back line. Campbell setting it up. Hadley Campbell on the attack, and it goes long. one nothing Red Bank. Yeah, if you're Red Bank, you're down 2-0. You're just, okay, let's just take a point at a time, try to build something here, try to take this one. Okay, we're down 2-1, then just kind of just kind of take it one point at a time. Don't don't get ahead of yourself. And if you're Clarion, you you got to just say, hey, we got to put them away. We don't want to keep them hanging around because reverse sweeps do happen. Big block in the middle there. Uh, and Ripple sends it back over and Ripple will get the kill in the middle. Two ought here in favor of Red Bank. I mean, we saw, saw it beginning of last season, reverse uh, sweep with uh, Red Bank and Keystone. Keystone going down 2-0 and coming back and winning 3-2. So it nice does job by, Nice job by Campbell to keep that alive and then in the middle, sent back over. We're going to get the carry called here on Carrico again. 2-1 now. Back to serve will be uh, Babington. The lefty sends it over. They got by Bonanno and 
No one's up front to get that. Ace that time for Babington. Ball to the middle. Carrico pushed over by Harmon. Hadley Campbell sets it up. Ripple with the intercept on the other side. Harmon. Harmon's going to send it long, and we're 3 2 lead now for Clarion. Red Bank started at 2 nothing. <clears throat> so three unanswered for the Bobcats. I always got to watch because Central or Clarion area. I just want to say Central Clarion are the Wildcats. Yeah, it can be confusing, that's for sure. Ball up front and good hit over by Carrico. Alston up front. Campbell setting it up. There's Hadley Campbell. Dumps it in, and Hadley Campbell will get the kill. Nice attempt that time by Addison yeah. Bond. 4 to 2 here, the score. 2 0 Clarion leads, 25 20, 25 18 in the first two sets. Nightcap coming up. We'll have Clarion Limestone and Cranberry. Carrico. Put over by Ripple. There's up there, and here's Hadley Campbell tipped at the net. Bond to Carrico back over to Harmon. Harmon sends it over, and they're going to get that. Uh, Carry that time called on Campbell. You know, all six Red Bank players were yelling at the uh, the official. Hey, did you see that? Said, yeah, don't worry, I saw it. I called it. Hattie Campbell to the middle, and that's going to fall. Campbell, I think, was trying to set it up, but I think Burford heard some footsteps behind with Hadley coming up, and this kind of left to go, and it falls in for the point. 4-4. Four, four. Durish. Campbell over to Hadley. Blocked in the middle, tipped over by Burford. Carrico sets it up to Harmon. Blocked, and it falls in. In the middle, Burford's going to get that to block. 5-4, uh, it is a clarion area. So who's going to serve here? Oh, they got a substitute. Best comes in to serve. Kelsey Best, ready? First time we've seen her today. Yeah. She's kind of a serving specialist for them. Serve just over the net. Ripple on the attack, and Ripple with the big kill on the right side. 5-5 five, five for time. Boy, when she gets a good set and gets a good approach and gets up in the air and can swing that arm, powerful arm, she can put it under the floor as good as anybody in the, in the KSAC or the district. Ripple with the big kill. Now she's serving. Good over. Dug out by Alston. Campbell keeps it alive. And Klein is going to hit that post. So it's out of bounds. 6-5, Red Bank. Ball just over the net. Campbell on the back side. Burford. I got by Bond. Carrico to the middle. Bonanno puts it over the net. And that ball kept alive. Nice job that time by Hadley Campbell to get it over on that third hit. Here's Carrico. Harmon. And Harmon's going to hit it just too soft. You, you can tell as soon as she hit it, she knew. Yeah. And we're tied at six. Yeah, as soon as she hit it, she knew it was going to be way short. She tried to hit it again in frustration. Burford. Over to Bonanno. And they're going to say Bonanno. She hit the net. Yeah, we'll say into that or hit the net. 7-6, Clarion. Burford still serving. Steve Smale back there, one of our writers, helping yeah. out there to get that ball back on the court. He's going to do the second game. I have to All right. leave a little early tonight, so I won't be on for the second game. I have a lot of uh, other stuff to do, so I can be here right. for both tomorrow. Ball up front. Ball hit over there. Nice job by Babington, the lefty. Found that right corner. And it's 8-6. Previews and features to right. You are busy. So I can be, uh, so I can clean my plate for uh, for tomorrow night for both games. Well, I heard your wife laid the law down too. You got to get some work done at home. Stuff needs to be done. 
That too. Erico puts it over. Yeah. Here's Campbell into the middle. Big swing that time by um, that was uh, Alston, and then kept the live ball back over the net that time by Babington. Here's Bonanno. Bond. Now Campbell. Campbell setting it up. Big swing. Big block by Bonanno, but wow. it goes. And it is in on that back line. You don't see a block often barely, wow. barely in long, but that, that's the yeah. case there. Well, I'll tell you what, Klein came up with a big swing. Klein hit that ball about as hard as she can. Yep. Bonanno got a good piece of it, obviously, and, and it almost went out behind, past the end line, which is, just shows you how, uh, how hard that hit was. Well set to the middle, Bonanno just pushes it over there. Campbell and Babington. Ripple from the back line. Bond hits it over, but Bond's going to hit. Yeah, Bond's going to hit that uh, that I've post. Seen, I've seen more more balls off the antenna tonight yep. than I think I have combined all the volleyball matches I've seen this year. It's kind of kind of crazy. You see that maybe once every three or four matches. You've seen it three times tonight. Ball set up, Bond hits it over. Durish with the intercept. Campbell sets it up, and Klein, nice dig by Harmon. Carrico in the middle, Ripple. Campbell hits it, Alston hits it, it's got to go over here. Good job by Klein. Carrico over to Bond. Bond hits it over the net. Good dig out, pick back in. Good job by Durish. Right off her knees that time. Good job, and they're going to call the carry on Bond. So 10-7. Boy, great play on both sides, but what a job by Durish. Yeah, Red, Red Bank, not happy with that call. <clears throat> Addie Campbell. Big hit that time with the block. That time by Klein. We'll get the point for Clarion 11-7, and Coach Anderson's going to take a timeout here. And we'll break as well. 11-7 Clarion here in the third. Clarion up two sets to none. You're watching Gatesman's Auto Body KSEC Volleyball Championships right here on ExploreClarionD9Sports.com. Here we go, Clarion serving. Campbell to serve, Addie Campbell. Triple up front, Bonanno, and tipped over by Bond. Pulls it up, Klein will hit it over just off the top of the net, and it's going to fall in. Harmon kind of froze that time. They were all kind of like yelling. 12-7. <laughs> yeah, been a lot of miscommunication tonight for Red Bank. It's unusual considering all six of these players are on the court all the time. Yep. Kind of uncharacteristic for them where they've had Balls just drop in between them. Harmon comes up to Bond. It's Izzy, tips it over. Deal. And over the net that time by Klein. Bonanno to the middle. Back over by Bond. Intercepted by Klein. Set up. Had the Campbell had to get it over and does. Carrico to the center. Bonanno. Bonanno with the kill in the middle, and it's a 12-8. Twelve eight, Clarion leads here in the third. They lead two sets to none. Madison Bond with the serve. I got by Hadley Campbell, Addie Campbell, and now big swing that time, and it's going to go out of bounds by Klein. Twelve nine. I think they actually called her for hitting the net before yeah. the ball went out. So either way, it's a point for Red Bank. You'll get two points for that. You can't make two mistakes on one, <laughs> one point. Bond with the serve. I got by Hadley Campbell. Alston on the back side. Good attack yeah, by another Klein. strong attack yeah. by Klein. He's having a nice match. Bonanno sends it over. Durish up front. Campbell. Deal with the hit up front. Tip back over the net. Good job in the middle of that time by Bonanno. Here's Campbell over to Klein. Klein with the big hit. Dug out by Harmon, but it goes out of bounds. Another kill for Klein. 13-9. I think that's 10 for her now. 
Tonight she has a couple blocks. Some digs. Copenhagen on to serve for Clarion. Nice job just over the top of the net. Carrico to Bond. And they're going to call Bond with the carry. So 14-9 now. Copenhagen serving. Harmon up to Carrico and into the middle. Bond puts it over. Durish, Campbell. Here's Hadley Campbell on the attack. Good block that time. Great attack by uh, Bonanno. She'll get another kill. 14-10. Bonanno's played well at the net in this uh, set. Yeah, both blocking and uh, got, she has a couple kills to her name, to her credit. She's another strong player for Red Bank. She's serving now. On the back side, here's Halston with the big swing, but it way out. And Halston's going to be under the net this time. That'll be a point for Red Bank, 14-11. Bond's all right. Just uh, kind of ran into her that time. Yeah, you know you're under the net when you actually run into <laughs> your opponent. That would be That's a clue. That's a clear sign that you're mm -hmm. over, you're under the net. You're on the wrong side of the court. And dumps it in. Bentley Campbell has, uh, that's uh, Bond, now over to Izzy Bond. On the line, great dig that time by Copenhaver. And then up front, Hadley Campbell kicks it over. Carrico keeps it alive. Pushed over the net by Harmon. Addy Campbell, middle, deal, has a block. Nice stop by Durish. On the dig, here's Hadley Campbell. Blocked again by Ripple. Uh, Ripple. And it's 14-12. Ripple making her presence known on defense at the net with a couple blocks there. They look great, great play on both sides. Just perfect, perfectly timing those blocks. Get her hands up. Get a solid piece of it. Campbell, then sent over the net there in the middle by Deal. Here's the bond, the big hit, and it goes off of Copenhaver and out of bounds. We've got a one-point set here. Yeah, nice rally here for Red Bank. They're down 12-7 uh, to 7 here. 14-9, to 9. Uh, it's 14-13, four straight points. Bonanno serving here to try to tie things up. Durish. Campbell, and Alston puts it over. Good uh, dig by Bonanno, but it goes out of bounds up into the crowd. That's a souvenir for someone. Oh, they're happy fan. 15-13, <laughs> Clarion. See, if I was up in the crowd and went up there, I wouldn't give it back. They'd be like, please. No, it's fine. Alston yeah. serving. Then you would be escorted from Tippin Gymnasium. Probably. probably. It's only happened a few times. And not, and not welcome back. And point goes to Clarion here on the long hit. Alston serving 16-13. Every time Red Bank hits one long, they're calling for tips. Hey, why not, right? Yep. Maybe, you, maybe you get one of those. And that time Ripple's going to hit it into the net. 17-13, Clarion now by four. Clarion back out to a four-point lead. Alston serve. Set to the middle. Bond hits it into the net that time. 18-13 now. Five-point lead. And a timeout will be yeah. taken good by timeout. Coach Anderson. Good timeout. Just a lot of, a lot of just self-inflicted wounds here for Red Bank during this, uh, this stretch. I want to let you know, too, coming up on Friday night, uh, we have uh, high school football coming your way here on EYT. As it will be a Clarion Limestone here. High School as Central Clarion will take on St. Mary's that night. Of course, tonight we still have our second match coming up as Clarion Limestone will face off against uh, Cranberry. That'll be coming up after this, and we'll have a little break between the two. We'll keep things, I'm sure, whatever Brett decides to do live, but we won't bore you with this me talking. I can sing, too. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. Sing some t Taylor Swift songs. Uh, I'm not a big Taylor Swift fan. I'll, I'll sing some classic rock. Everyone's a Taylor Swift fan now. Everyone. Well, I think that's the only reason. I think that with you're that not, NFL stuff, I think it's all that's all on purpose. It's all fixed. You're not a Swifty? No. 
Brett is, though. He really likes Taylor Swift. He has a, he has her on, like, as soon as he gets into his car on, like, that whatever the play thing is they have now in there. Here we Boy, go. Boy, you sound old now. I know. Alston. <laughs> That, uh, that thing, sort of that <laughs> newfangled technology <laughs> the kids have. How about the kill by Copen? Uh, or that is uh, Babington on the right side, 19-13. Big hit by the lefty Babington. Your, your, your magic picture, moving picture box. Whatever that they use, yeah. And a big swing that time by uh, Ripple, but Clarine controls it, tipped over by Babington. Here's Carrico to the middle. Ripple has it blocked. Now here's um, on that left side. That is uh, Bond, but she's going to hit it wide, 20 to 13. Another kind of unfor unforced error there for Red Bank. They made a lot of them here this set. That's kind of the difference. Alston sends it wide. Service error Sir, makes it 20 to 14. This is her first one in a while for Clarion. <clears throat> they haven't had a lot of service errors since that. This is that first set and a half when they had a bunch. And you'll be choosing the player of the game here. Yeah, we have nice plaques yep. for for the players of the games from both uh, semifinals and uh, consolation final tomorrow. Do you need to go over and let Dave know who that is? At some point, probably should. Yeah. Yes. So you can announce it. Yep. And you can choose that. So far, I think it's Marley Klein. But see what happens here. It's not over yet. Hadley Campbell has a dug out there by Bond. Carrico, and now Ripple. Good job by Durish. But then it's up into the net. 20 to 16. Once again, the 50 50 number is 802913. Bond serving. That's uh, Izzy Bond. Got by Durish, good job by her. And then up front, Hadley Campbell on the attack. Bond up front, Carrico's gonna send it over to Harmon. Harmon tips it over the net, the point for Red Bank Valley, 20 to 17. Yeah, creeping back again. Well, yeah, Hadley Campbell's had a number of really good attacks tonight, but hasn't had a lot to show for it. Because Red Bank's been playing some pretty good defense on her. Oh. Dug out, Campbell sends it over here. And Babington with a big kill from the right side. 21-17. Not only did she hit that with some pretty good uh, speed, but she found a nice open area in the court. There's no chance to get a pass on that, return that one. Ball to the middle, it's hit by Ripple. There's Durish. Campbell tipped over by uh, Burford. Kept alive here. Campbell with it, comes back over. Hadley Campbell with the tip over the net. Harmon with the dig. Carrico sends it back to Harmon. Harmon puts it over the net. And Harmon somehow with two hands shoots it right down almost parallel with the net on the other side. 21 to 18. Yeah, pretty slick move there by Harmon. Kind of a two handed kind of tip across court. Kill. Hey, whatever gets it done, right? That's right. Carrico with the serve. Clarion kept it alive. Campbell, and now it's hit over the net. Good job on that far side over there by Babington. Ball to the middle. Big swing. Oh. Block. Carrico setting it back up on the backside. Hit blocked again. Good dig out that time by Ripple. Here's Harmon. Harmon puts it over the net. Campbell up front. Campbell to Hadley Campbell. Tipped at the net. Dug out. Babington, they're going to call the two hits. And it's 22-18. Double hit. Well, Red Bank's been called for a number of those tonight. Best to serve. Kelsey Best. Harmon. And the ball just over top of the net. Here's Campbell. Sets it up. Klein tipping it over. Klein was way over the line there. No one saw it. Big hit. She was a good Banana. shoe length over the net. And the long hit that time by Izzy Bond, and it is now 23-18 Clarion. Clarion learning to take this one here in three straight.
Best with the serve. Hits it into the net that time. Service error, 23-19. Serving is uh, Taylor Ripple for Red Bank. Four point advantage here for Clarion. Look out by Alston. Eddie Campbell to Klein. Bonanno, Harmon, Harmon. Oh, just over the net. Oh, but Harmon is so good at that, too. And I don't know how she can get it over that over the net so close to the net. Yeah, she definitely has an arc for that that maneuver, and it's nearly un unreturnable when you can do that. Campbell with a quick over the net, trying to catch Red Bank by surprise. Bonanno up front, Campbell, and Babington sends it over. Carrico to Harmon. Harmon off the top of the net. Good dig that time. Harmon kept it a lot. Good job by Babington on that other side. Here's Ripple in the middle. And Ripple. Ball dug out from Alston in the middle. Then it goes off of uh, Bond and out of bounds. I believe that was Campbell in the middle getting the Bradley kill. 24 20. Her best swing of the night. <laughs> Hit that with some serious authority. Match point. There it is up front. Campbell to Klein. Good dig by Carrico. Triple puts it over. Alston, Campbell back to Alston. Alston with the big hit. Let's see what Ripple can do. Kipped it alive. They've got to get it over. Here they do. Does Harmon. Burford, Campbell. Big hit by Alston, and it is out of bounds. 24 21. Bulldogs get the point here. I was going to get ready. I was going to go down on the floor and get a dig. And that one hey, came right you at me. Have. Give you some credit there. One dig in the stat column for Mike Killer. Ball hit over by Babington. Carrico. Big swing by Bond. Campbell, middle. Alston dumps it over. And there it is. 25 21. Clarion wins the third. It's hard to uh, pick a player of the game because everything's so balanced. But I think Marley Klein probably made the biggest impact. Sounds so I'm going to go with Marley Klein. So I will go sign ahead. off. I'll see you tomorrow. Guys. All right. Sounds good. He's going to head over. He can grab a shirt, and he's going to grab one of the uh, one of the um, plaques here as Mike Kilroy will go across to do our player of the game. So we will get that here in just a second. I want to stay right here live while Mike Kilroy goes over. Gates Mazzano Body KSAC Volleyball Championship Tournament off to a great start. Clarion with the three-set win over Red Bank Valley, 25-20, 25-18, and 25-21. Again, uh, the player of the game in this uh, first one was Marley Klein, the, the middle and outside hitter for Clarion, the sophomore. And Dave Constantino will be announcing that. We'll just kind of keep the keep that feed going here. And here we go with the announcement from uh, Dave Constantino. And player of the game is Marley Klein. Marley picking up the nice plaque over there. And uh, Mike Kilroy talking to her. Well, I'll tell you what, great uh, opening uh, match here. Three-set win by Central Clarion. Coming up here in about 20 minutes, we're going to have the next one on the way as uh, Cranberry will set to take on Clarion Limestone. The teams are now on the court and getting set to warm up here. And we'll take a break, and uh, we'll come back here in just a moment, let you know what's going on as far as uh, when we'll rejoin the uh, second match on the way. But... I'm sure we'll stay live for a lot of it. You'll be able to see what's going on in the background. So uh, match number two on the way. It's Gatesman's Auto Body KSAC Volleyball Championship Tournament. It's all right here on Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com. Brookville Equipment's always been well known in the community as a great local employer. Very family-oriented company. Brookville has a really great benefits plan here. We're pretty diverse in what we do from mining to streetcars to locomotives. We're helping the infrastructure of the country. 
medical insurance, dental, vision, competitive wages, paid time off. It's an opportunity. It's something that you can enjoy doing. And you can apply right through our website. Located at 511 Main Street in Shippenville, All-American Awards and Engraving is expanding to provide even better customer service with that personal small town feel. From embroidery to engraving to screen printing to personalized gifts, All-American Awards and Engraving is ready to help you make your organization, business, school team, or event stand out with All-American Awards and Engraving's quality promotional products. Visit their showroom for apparel, trophy, and awards ideas at 511 Main Street or visit their website at allamericanhq.com. Dubrook, a division of M&B Group, is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete, as well as concrete supplies, along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Du Bois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1 844 382 7665. You can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. Hi, my name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zocro Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. 
Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zockrell Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZockrellMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zockrell Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64 Interstate 80 in Clarion.
And welcome back here to Tippin Gymnasium as we get set for match number two tonight in the Gatesman Auto Body Keystone Shortway Athletic Conference Volleyball Championships. Tonight we have the semifinals for you. And uh, the first one, Clarion uh, knocked off uh, Red Bank Valley in three straight sets to move on to the championship round coming up tomorrow night. Uh, the Concy game tomorrow at 6 and the championship coming up right around 8 o'clock. <clears throat> you can see in the background these teams are still warming up. And we're just about four minutes away from tip-off here. Clarion Limestone finishing the regular season undefeated. The champion in the Keystone Shortway Conference. Coach, uh, Coach Ryan uh, Troop doing a nice job here with these Lady Lions as the year's gone on for Cranberry. Uh, Ayana Faringer. Recording her 500th kill here recently as they come in here to take on Clary and Limestone. Jennifer Stover, the head coach at uh, Cranberry. At the conclusion of this match, too, we'll have Steve Smale for you. Um, he'll be giving the player of the match award. Uh, Mike Kilroy had to take off, but uh, Mike will be back tomorrow night for both of the matches. So we'll have uh, Mike Kilroy back in here with us coming up tomorrow night. Got a good one here tonight on the way here from Tippin Gymnasium. Why don't we take a quick time out? We'll pause a couple minutes, get a couple sponsors in, and we'll be back with more for you. You are watching uh, Gatesman's Auto Body KSAC Volleyball Championship, Cranberry, Clary, and Limestone. It's all coming up next right here on the EYT Media Network. Oaks Building Supply is dedicated to providing quality building products to the community. You will always find what you need for your home improvement project and get great advice on how to do the job at Oaks Building Supply. Customer satisfaction is a top priority. Oaks Building Supply, for all your building and lumber supply needs. Located on Route 66 in Lucinda. There's nothing like football, the lights, the cheers of the crowd, and getting a chance to see our local athletes and kids give it all they've got. Come to a game. Support our local schools. Clarion County Community Bank. A better way to bank. Member FDIC. Visit us online at clarionbank.com. All right, back here at Tippin Gymnasium. Getting set for the start here at the match number two. As we did in the first match, we'll send it over to Dave Constantino. That is, excuse me, Hall of Famer Dave Constantino as he does the uh, PA announcing here for the volleyball championships. I know tomorrow he's got a big day ahead of him. He's got to go down to the golf championships. That's uh, down in, around Hershey. Then he's got to be back here to announce... <clears throat> the uh, excuse me, the volleyball match tomorrow night. So Dave's going to have a big day tomorrow. So there's the horn. We're going to get set for the introductions and also the anthem here coming up before uh, this uh, contest tonight. Clary Limestone again, the champion in the regular season, now looking to be the outright Keystone Shortway Conference champion. 
We're going to send it over to Dave uh, Constantine. I almost said Dave Cadiz. Two Daves over there. It's like a thing. Must be a Dave thing here at Clarion. I don't know. So we're going to send it over to Dave. You may also contribute to our scholarship fund by purchasing 50-50 tickets on sale in the lobby. Winners will be drawn between sets two and three of the semifinal match tonight. This evening's second semifinal match features the Lady Berries from Cranberry as the visiting team, and the Lady Lions from Clarion Limestone as the home team. Your paid admission to this event entitles you to enjoy an exhibition of skills developed by these student athletes. Please give them your positive encouragement. Booing, taunting, and intimidating the officials and or opponents is unfriendly and unacceptable. Please keep off the court at all times. Fans will not be permitted to enter this event if they are not wearing a shirt and will also be required to wear a shirt at all times. We're just letting folks know they put that shirt thing in for so Chase. All of the people out there that are that are watching. Banners, noise makers, pom poms, shakers, handheld signs, towels, and whistles are prohibited. Failure to comply with the state and conference rules will result in removal from the facility. Your officials for tonight's first semifinal contest are referee number one, Roger Walter, referee number two, Scott Gaunt, line judges, Roddy Harlow, and Amy Hart. And now, ladies and gentlemen. Will you please rise for the playing of our national anthem by trumpet by Tate Allison from Clarion Limestone. Gentlemen, we ask you kindly remove your hats. Jenna Dunn. 
time. Senior middle hitter, number 30, Alyssa Wyatt. Senior right side hitter, number 35, Ansley Burke. And senior libero, number 10, Abby Knapp Greeley. Good luck to both teams this evening. All right, there we go. So we get set here for match number two here on the EYT Media Network. Well, everybody all excited, ready to go here as we get set for this one. Smith, Nap Greeley, begs why Burke Dunn Greeley for Clarion Limestone, Watson Co. Stewart Shoemaker. Shook Ferringer rising a run bold for Cranberry. Those are the names you're gonna hear. Get the crowd fired up here. Nice crowd on hand for match number two. Again, the championship tomorrow night at eight o'clock. Consolation match is coming up at six. But Jumpin' Joey now taking in match number two. Now the teams get ready for the ceremonial handshake. And here we go. Oh, so they're just waving. I don't know why. I'd... A lot of that stuff started with that crazy COVID stuff. So here we go. The Lady Lions and the Lady Berries getting set to do battle here. Who will take on the Clarion Lady Bobcats tomorrow night? We're going to find out here tonight. Head coach is Jennifer Stover for Cranberry. And Ryan uh, Troop for Clarion Limestone. Lady Berries will be serving first. It'll be Risinger to serve for Cranberry. Go out there along with Shoemaker. Stewart up front along with Rembold and in the middle, the big hitter is Faringer, who had recorded her 500th kill here recently. <clears throat> Mike Kilroy did a nice story on her on exploreclarion.com. Lady Lions are getting all set up here. Out there for the Lady Lions, it's Wyant. She gonna come off, they'll bring in the libero. Now Greeley, Dunn, Burke. Greeley up front, Beggs, and uh, Kaylee Smith. And we are ready to go here in match number two. Served by Reisinger. Dug out up front. Smith is going to set that up. And a big hit by uh, Beggs. Controlled by Cranberry. Comes up front. Miss pooched over the net. Dunn going to pass up front to Smith right in the middle. That was Greeley sending it over the net. Smith again. Quick over. Nice job by Reisinger to be there. Stewart puts it over. Smith back over to Beggs. Beggs. And the Lions will get the first point here of the match. Back to serve here for Clarion Limestone will be Smith. It's her by Smith. And, uh, we're gonna call it out. It must have hit uh, part of that ceiling. Yep, boy, that's a, you gotta hit it high, as Mike Kilroy said. But they do just nick that ceiling. So two nothing Clarion Limestone. Smith with the big serve, dug out, and it's gonna come right in front of us. Red was a little bit worried. I'm an old pro at this. If it hits me, it isn't going to hurt anything. <laughs> Served by Smith. Hits the net. Service error. 3-1 now. Back to serve is Rembold. Allison Rembold. Smith setting it to Burke with the big swing. Good dig from the back line. The ball tipped over then at that time by Stewart. With Greeley, or Greeley keeps it alive. 
And then uh, Greeley puts it over the net. Big swing. How oh, about in the middle. And Farringer shows why she is the big hitter on this Cranberry team getting the kill there that time. Three to two. Serving is Rembold again. Smith. Puts it to the middle. Greeley puts it over the net. Dug out by Coe. Then pooched over there by Farringer. Smith. The backside this time. Beggs is going to send it long, and we're tied at three. So 3-3. Three, three, we're tied here. Opening set of uh, this second semifinal match tonight here from Tippin Gymnasium. Rembold uh, dug out there by Nap Greeley. In the middle. Big swing and hitting it, though, into the net that time was done. And Cranberry takes a 4-3 lead here on Clarion Limestone. Rimble. And Burke. Dug out from the back line in the middle. Farringer. There's Dunn. Front. Beggs puts it over. Ball comes up front. Nice dig out there by Farringer. And they're going to call the carry here on Clarion Limestone. So 5-3 here now as uh, Cranberry leads Clarion Limestone. Now Greeley, front, kept it alive. Dunn got it over. Nice job by Clarion Limestone that time. Ball into the middle. Farringer with the big hit. Blocked up front. How oh, about that big block that time by Beggs to get the kill. And it's 5-4. Here's Beggs with the serve. Farringer digs it out up front to Stewart. Big swing by Farringer. Beggs again with the dig out. Dunn has to put it over and does. That's Remble in the middle. Farringer, it's blocked. And the point goes to Cranberry. They're going to call Clarion Limestone into the net. 6-4 here, Cranberry. Cranberry playing well. Shook coming in here for Cranberry. Serving is Farringer. That's going to sail long. So 6-5 the score. Clarion Limestone now serving. Back to serve is Greeley. Served by Greeley. Into the net. Another service error here for Clarion Limestone. 7-5 now in favor of Cranberry. Back to serve for the Lady Berries is Watson. Dug out by Beggs. Smith sets it up. Burke on the attack. Herringer with the dig from the back line. Stewart setting into the middle. Then over the net it goes by uh, Shook. Big swing by Dunn. Kept alive by Coe. And hit over by Remble. Here's Smith. Big swing by Dunn. It goes off the Farringer and out of bounds. Dunn's going to get the kill. 7-6. <clears throat> So 7-6 is where we stand. Yeah, Lady Lions will be serving. Now Greeley to serve. Watson with the dig up front at the net. Hit over by Shook, and Shook's going to get the kill in the middle for Cranberry. 8-6. Cranberry maintaining that two-point advantage here over Clarion Limestone. Serve is by um, Co. Dunn with the big swing. And Dunn gets that right side. 8-7. Dunn to serve. They serve by Dunn. It goes off of Watson and then out of bounds. That was a hard serve that time. An ace by Dunn. And we're tied at eight apiece. Here's Dunn again. Big serve. Goes off Watson. Good job by Rembold. And then uh, Shook puts it over the net. Now Greeley to Smith in the middle. Dunn. Intercepted by um, Coe. Hit over the net by Farringer. And that is going to go long. So 9-8. Clarion Limestone regains the lead here. 
Dunn serving. Good serve by Dunn. Watson with the dig over the net. Burke's going to put, or that's not Burke, excuse me, that's Alyssa Wyant in the middle getting the kill. <clears> 10 8. Dunn with the service error, though, now makes it 10 9. Back to serve is Shook. And a service error coming back the other way. 11-9, so we go back and forth here with those service errors. Lions will be serving, and on that back line, that is Wyant. Wyant with the jump serve. Faringer's there. Shoemaker back to Faringer, off at Dunn. Smith. Then put over the net that time by uh, Beggs. Fight at the net. And it's going to go to Clarion Limestone. They're going to call the two hits on the Cranberry side. So a double hit, 12-9. Lady Lions now up by three here on Cranberry. Lions serving. Here's the serve by Wyatt. Good dig that time by Watson. Rembold and then hit over the net by Faringer. Done. Beggs. Beggs is going to send it long that time. Beggs really had to reach back to hit that one. 12 10 the score. Serving is Alexis Risinger. Goes off a of Bergen out of bounds. And now Cranberry back within a point. At 12-11, they're playing very well here in set number one here against Clarion Limestone. Lady Lions undefeated on the regular season. Rising her serve. <coughs> Got by Dunn. Smith puts it up. Tipped over there by Beggs, but Beggs is going to be over the line. So the violation. So we tie things up now at 12. All tied here in set number one. Risinger with the serve. Now Greeley, Smith, and then hit over by Dunn. And that's going to go into the upper deck, and Dunn will get the kill. It's 13-12. Ball dug out by Coe up front, Risinger, but... They're going to call the double hit again up front on Rembold. 14-12 Lions. Smith serving. That's uh, Coe up front. Nice job by Faringer to come over to get that ball back in play. Big swing and a big hit and a big kill that time by Greeley in the middle. It's tipped. By um, Cranberry, 15-12 now, Clarion Limestone. Smith ready from the back line. Here's Smith with the serve. Dug out by Shoemaker up front. Faringer puts it over. Done. Smith. Burke tipped at the net. Good job by Watson. Rembold up front. Faringer with the big hit, and it's going to go off. But done. And the kill by Faringer in the middle. She adds to her totals. 15-13 now. Rembold serving. Smith. Burke. Burke's going to get the kill from the left side. Burke, nice hit that time. Right into the middle. 16 13 here, Lions. Thanks, sir. Uh, who's back there? Well, we got Beggs. <clears throat> Hannah Beggs. Watson. Shoemaker. And now put over by Faringer. Bigs up to Smith. Big swing by Dunn, and it's going to be blocked, but it goes out of bounds. It went off of Faringer in the middle, and out of bounds, 17-13. Here's Begg serving. Job by Shoemaker. Stewart, Faringer just dumps it over. What a great, uh, they're going to say it hit the, the cord, but I'll tell you what, Beggs came up, tried to get that hand out, and almost 
Got it to work, 17-14. Nice job here as Cranberry gets it back. Here's Farringer with the serve. Begs to Smith. Burke's going to put it over. Farringer up front, Rembold into the middle. And how about this? That is uh, Shook getting the kill in the middle, 17-15. Cranberry back within two. Big out by Dunn. Here's Smith up front. Big swing by Burke, and it goes long, and it's a one-point set here. 17-16. Faringer serving, trying to tie things up now for Cranberry. Nep Greeley up front to Smith. Smith comes over to Dunn. Dunn with the big hit off of Faringer. Running is Watson, but just can't catch up to it. One thing about uh, the court here at uh, Clarion that's going to be a little bit longer, a little bit bigger than what you see in the high schools, and long way to go for Watson that time. 18-16. <clears throat> Served by Greeley. Off Watson. Faringer is going to set it up front. Shook puts it over the net. And Shook's going to hit it long. 19-16, Clarion Limestone. Really to serve here. Watson. Stewart up front, and they're going to call the carry. In the middle, not a whole lot that could have been done that time. 20 to 16, and in set number one, there is a timeout on the court. And that's by uh, Jennifer Stover. We'll take a timeout as well. You're watching Gates Monado by Katie Sack Volleyball right here on the EYT Media Network. Brookville Equipment's always been well known in the community as a great local employer. Very family oriented company. Brookville has a really great benefits plan here. We're pretty diverse in what we do from mining to streetcars to locomotives. We're helping the infrastructure of the country. Medical insurance, dental, vision, competitive wages, paid time off. It's an opportunity. It's something that you can enjoy doing. And you can apply right through our website. Back here, Chase with that CL student section down there. Look at them. They're getting all fired up. Ready here as the Clarion Limestone leads 20 to 16. There we go, timeout. In the books, 20 to 16, our score. Clarion Limestone leading here in the first set. Greeley serving. Puts it over, dug out by Faringer in the back low line, and up front hit over by Coe. Smith to the middle, and Wyant dumps it in. Watson, good dig. Ball on that left side, that is a Stewart. Done. Dig by Rembold, right at the net, fight for it, and the Lady Lions are going to get the point. 21-16, Clarion Limestone. Greeley with the serve. Watson with the dig to the net, put over by Rembold. Dunn with the big swing, and it's a long 20 to 117 is the score now. Four point advantage here for Clary and Limestone. Watson with the serve. Is off at Dunn. Nap Greeley up front, put over the net by Dunn. Shook over the Risinger. And the point goes to Cranberry. Risinger will get the kill from the left side, 21-18. Chase is going to be on a sugar high over there. He's had Dippin' Dots. He's got Gatorade. He's got Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> Watson ready. Begs with the dig. Done with the big hit. Watson. Faringer comes up front to Risinger. Risinger puts it over the net. And that is a Cranberry point. Almost a good job from that back line by uh, Nap Greeley on the dig. But Cranberry gets the point. Two-point uh, set here. Watson done with the dig. On the back side, Burke. Faringer up front. Coe tipped over by Shook. 
Back over to Dunn. Shook, Reisinger. Snap Greeley up front to Dunn. Bearing her back up front to Remble. Reisinger kicks it over. In the middle. Wyant, and Wyant gets the kill. That was just at an odd angle. Farringer made a great play at it and able to get there, though it's 22-19. Serving is Nab Greeley here for Clarion Limestone. Here's Shook in the middle, and a kill for Shook in the middle. 22-20. Serving uh, from the back line is Coe. It'll be Avery Coe. <clears throat> Dug out by Beggs. Smith back to Dunn. Dunn hits it into the net. It's 22-21. Cranberries come all the way back here. Down by one. Serving again is Coe. Dug out by Beggs in the middle. Wyant. Fight for it. Wyant's there. They kept it alive. And now it's on the Cranberry side. Fight for it. they got to get it over here and do. That uh, is a Wyant in the middle. Rembold to the middle. Shook. Hit over this time. Faringer's there. Rembold. Over to uh, Risinger. Risinger hits it into the net this time. And it's 23-21 Clarion Limestone. Dunn back uh, here to serve for the Lady Lions. Jenna Dunn, the junior. Ball up into the net, and Cranberry gets the point. Good battle there at the net. At that time, Rembold's going to win that one. 23-22. Shoke back to serve. And how about... That hit by Wyatt down the right side, 24-22. Set point here now for the Lady Line. Shoemaker checks back in here for Cranberry. Serving for the set point is Wyant. Served by Wyant. Watson there. Rembold over to Risinger, and it's blocked. Kept alive. Good job. Watson, good job by Cranberry. Here's Smith. Setting it up here to Beggs. Dunn keeps it alive. Back to Smith. Beggs tips it over. Ball by Coe up front. Risinger. It's blocked. And uh, how about that? Faringer's going to get the kill. 24 23. <clears throat> Faringer up front is tough. And now Risinger to serve. Risinger tips it over. Burke. Smith. Now it's Cranberry. Ferringer with another kill, and we're tied at 24. And remember, you got to win by two. Risinger to serve. Big kill by Ferringer in the middle. Ferringer. Burke. Here's Smith. And then Beggs. Doug comes up front. Rembold in the middle. Ferringer. Kept alive, and then over the net by Smith. Ball's going to be set up. Faringer just has to stick it over the net that time. And in the middle. Block in the middle by Faringer, and it's 25-24 Cranberry. Wow. And a timeout will be taken here by Clarion Limestone. 25-24 is where we stand. We'll keep it right here. Wow. What a comeback here by Cranberry. They were trailing by four, almost well, four or five, I think it was there. I know it was four at least, and uh, came right back. And they lead now 25-24. They have the serve. Clarion Limestone, Lady Lions, undefeated on the regular season, but Cranberry right now with the upper hand in this opening set. Winner of this one will take on Clarion area tomorrow night in the championship match. Coming up at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Beringer showing why she's one of the top players in the district. 
So here we go, Faringer to serve. This is match point for Cranberry. Smith puts it up here. Beggs puts it over. Cole with the dig. Comes back up front to Faringer. Just has to get it over the net. Now this one has to go over and does. That's Greeley. Rembold to the middle. Faringer. And there it is. Cranberry wins the first set. 26 to 24. Cranberry, the winner of set number one. So there we go. We'll take the time out. Look at that. You see those crowd up there for Cranberry celebrating that big win in set number one. We'll break. We'll pause a couple back with set number two on the way. And you're watching Gatesman Auto Body KSAC Volleyball Championships right here on the EYT Media Network. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply. And yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta. And yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave. You've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there. Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to T.O. Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. Tyanesta Builders. Tyanesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tyanesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tyanestabuilders.us. Back here at the Tippin Gymnasium, John Calipari Court. Set number two on the way. So here we go, set number two. Cranberry up one nothing here, 26-24. Have to throw bread on here every now and then. I can turn up his volume if I so desire. <laughs> Look at Brad. He's like, I don't know. Officials are making sure everyone's in the right rotation. Everyone's checking here. I don't know what the wait is. Oh, there's still 10 seconds. I'm going to turn you up for a second here, Brett, because I know you talk to Chase a lot. But That's fine. Um, so what do you think of that uh, first uh, that first uh, set? Uh, that was wild. That was a really good set by Cranberry coming back and uh, take the win. They looked good throughout the whole thing, so it was, it was good. All right, so we're going to get back set number two here. We'll bring Brett up and down. I just don't want you chatting with Chase over there because you guys talk about crazy things. Yeah, good job there. And Cranberry did play very, very well in that first set. Larry Limestone's going to have to come back here. Here's uh, the serve, and uh, the, the serve goes out by Wyant. So Cranberry starts here again, leading 1 0. Lady Berries have come to play some volleyball tonight. Here's Risinger with the serve. Done up front. Smith over to Beggs. Beggs kept it alive, and it comes over. And out of bounds. Chase almost made a great play on that one. 2 nothing Cranberry here in set number two. They lead 1 nothing. Smith to Beggs. Good job that time by Coe. Risinger sends it over. 
Smith into the middle. Beggs. This time, Beggs will get the kill. Cole made a nice attempt at that ball, but Beggs will get the kill. It's 2-1. Smith ready. Kaylee Smith with the serve. Dug up by Shoemaker up front. Faringer with the big hit, and it's going to go long. 2-2. We're all tied up here in set number two. Smith, their second serve here. Comes up front, set up to the middle. Faringer. And it was blocked up front. It goes off Faringer. Very powerful in the middle. Will get the kill that time. Granberry up here, three to two. <clears throat> Serving is Rembold. Rembold with Beggs. Then to Dunn. Shoemaker to the middle. Fight for the ball. And in the middle that time, winning it, it'll be Greeley getting the kill there. Beggs serving here for Clarion Limestone. 3-3, we're tied. Good serve by Beggs. Good dig that time by Shoemaker. And Faringer right in on the right side. How about that big hit? Faringer has been on fire right now. Here's Faringer now serving. 4-3, Cranberry. Yep, Greeley up front to Smith. Ball tipped over by Greeley. Into the net. Good play by Coe. And Faringer sends it over, but a little long. That was a great play by Coe off the net, though. 4 4 were tied. Serving is Greeley. Watson with the intercept and back up, and putting it over the net was. Uh, Talk. And the Lady Lions can't hold on to it. That's a kill for uh, Shock on that side. 5-4, Cranberry leads. Here's Watson, the libero. That's going to be a service error for Watson, so the Lady Lions will get a point back. 5-5, five, five, we are tied. Now Greeley with the serve. Rumbold up front. Risinger puts it over the net. Now Greeley with the intercept. Smith keeps it alive. Done with the big hit. Off of Faringer. Watson comes up front. Shook. And they're going to call Shook with the carry. Just kind of pulled a hand this way. If, had to get a little more on top of the ball that time. 6-5. Ball up front. Reisinger sends it over. Smith. Shot by Dunn to put it over. Herringer plays it from the back line. Shook blocked there. Back into the net. It's got to go over. Does. Good job by Farringer. Great play there by Cranberry. Ball into the middle. Then over and it goes out. Dunn hits it out and it's 6 6. We are tied. So 6-6, six, six, back uh, to serve is Coe. Beggs, Dig, Smith, middle, hit by Wyant. Or so um, Watson, Risinger hits it over. Ball to Dunn, and Dunn's going to get the kill. So 7-6. Chase must have taken off to get some more shots, huh? Watson up front. Big swing by Barringer, and Barringer hits it out. 8 6 here, Clarion Limestone. Done with the serve, dug out by Watson. Tipped over by Risinger, and she's going to carry it. 9 6, Clarion Limestone. Dunn serving. Goes off Faringer. 10 6. With the ace out of time for Dunn. 
Timeout will be taken here by Jennifer Stover. We'll break two. It's 10 6 here in the second. Cranberry leads 1 0. Gatesman's Auto Body KSAC Volleyball Championship. It's live right here on Explore Clearing and D9Sports.com. One of the biggest risks to your future could be running out of money during a longer than expected retirement. Many people have not yet taken the time to determine if they will have enough assets to last throughout retirement. Our retirement income evaluator can help you develop a roadmap and actual recommendations. To learn more, stop by our office located at 162 South 2nd Avenue in Clarion. Give us a call at 223-9990 or visit JennyClarion.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSE, FINRA, and SIP. All right, here we go. Time on take it by Cranberry here. 10-6, Clarion Limestone leads here in set number two. Done to serve. Comes up front and hit over by Rembold. Smith setting it up to a a Bags, and Bags is going to hit it long. 10-7 now. So Beggs hitting it long. Serving here is uh, Shook. Smith to Wyant, and it goes off a rising or 11 7 here. Serving is Wyant for Clemmery and Limestone. Served by Wyatt. And it's out. Service error. 11 8. <clears throat> Serving now is uh, number 13 here. That is uh, Alexis Reisinger for Cranberry. Served, dug out by Nap Greeley. Smith. And then the ball's going to be hit down into the net. Underneath the net, it looked like a couple Clarion Limestone players almost bumping into each other there, 11-9. Reisinger to serve. Dunn up front, Smith. Here's Beggs. Goes off of Stewart, back up front it goes, and then over the net by Rembold. Dunn up front to Smith. Smith sets it up here for Beggs. Beggs with the big swing. And that's going to come down. Kept alive, great job that time by Rembold and over the net. Great job. Ball hit, rolls off the top, and the kill that time will be for Greeley. Tell you what, Brett, that's how you used to hit uh, the volleyball, just like that. From way behind the net, you could make it do all kinds of things. Yeah, I uh, took lessons from uh, my mentor, Tyler Oaks. That's right. Yeah. All right. Here we go, back to action. And uh, Burke's going to hit that. Uh, Watson with the intercept. Back out. Rembold's going to put it over the net. Here's a nap. Greeley up to Smith. Smith on the back side. Uh, Beggs is there. Dug out by Stewart. Rembold, and then the big hit's going to go long this time. 13 9. Clary Limestone a little more consistent right now in, in this set than they were in that first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it goes off. Here's a ace that time on the serve. Smith serving. 14-9. Stewart, Watson, and Stewart, or Shoemaker, excuse me, and Shoemaker's going to get the ace. And there's Brett. Good job, Brett. On that side. They never do. <laughs> Hold on, let me get you on there. Yeah, nobody was looking for the ball. He was trying to get it out there. Yeah. You should have hit it, and then they would have been like. Yeah. That would have been good to go. Now Greeley in the middle to Dunn. Dunn has it blocked. Dunn comes right back for the big play. There's uh, Beggs had it blocked. Boy, Cranberry all over at that front of the net. Watson, great play. Coe sets it up to the middle. Faringer puts it over. Good dig by Dunn. There's Smith. Beggs with the big hit. In the middle to Watson. Put over by Faringer. Dug out. There's Dunn. Set over by Beggs. 
Rembold to the middle. Ferringer's going to hit it long that time. 15 10. Wow. Great play on both sides that time. Here's a serve by Beggs. In the middle to Stewart. Big swing by Ferringer. Great dig by Beggs. Here's Smith into the middle on the backside. That is uh, uh, Burke on the big hit. On the other side, the ball fought at the net. It's blocked. Ferringer puts it over. Here's Smith again. Smith coming back over to Dunn. Block up front. Kept alive here by Cranberry. Smith to the middle. Greeley. And the kill by Greeley in the middle. And it's 16-10. Clarion Limestone. Definitely there. Much, much uh, different here in this set. Clarion Limestone a little more crisp. Cranberry still right there playing tough. And that serve goes out. So that's a service error. Checking back in here is a Shook here for Cranberry. Serving is Faringer. Here's uh, Burke on the big swing, and Burke gets the kill from the right side. 17-11. So Clarion Limestone trailing here. One set to none. Cranberry won that first one, 26-24. And now um, Greeley. Watson with the dig. Hook to the middle and then over the net by Stewart. Smith puts it over. And Smith will get the kill from the right side. 18-11. <coughs> So Clarion Limestone starting to pull away here in this second set. Really with the serve. Watson up to Shook. Watson puts it back over. Dunn to Smith. Smith to the middle. Big swing. And how about that? Kill for Wyan. Big swing in the middle. 19-11 here, Clarion Limestone, and a timeout taken by Jennifer Stover. And why don't we break two? 19-11, Clarion Limestone here in the second set. Cranberry leads by one, though, and it is Gatesman's Auto Body KSAC Volleyball Championships right here on the EYT Media Network. I chose MPRC because it was great to have a local affordable option here in northwestern Pennsylvania. I live in this community and I wanted to stay in this community. Learn more at discovernprc.org. All right, back at Tippin Gymnasium. Mike Kalinowski. Fred English joining us with some commentary as well. Yep. He's engineering and doing all kind of stuff. You're starting to actually impress me so much more than Dustin Kiefer. <laughs> oh, my. Dustin Kiefer is something else. Here's the serve by How about Greeley serve for the ace, 20 to 11. But Clarion Limestone, it was all cranberry in that first set, but Clarion Limestone's come back strong here in this one. A nine-point advantage here for the Lady Lions. Greeley serving. So by Greeley just off the top of the net, pairing here with the dig. Rembold puts it over there to Shook, and it comes up. And the hit from the left side. That is going to be done with the kill from the left side. 21-11, Clarion Limestone. Had to wait for a second as Dunn came from around the official here. Here's Greeley. Big swing by Greeley, and it goes long. So 21-12. Watson ready. Served by Watson. Got by Beg. Smith sets it to the middle. Wyatt with the big hit in the middle. Shook puts it over the net. And up Greeley. To Dunn. Dunn. Faringer with the return wow. that time. Nice job by Faringer. Done. There's Rembold up front to Coe, uh, and then tipped over. 
Burke with the save, and then on the back side, Coe put it over the net. I don't know how. And what do we got? Points going to go here to Cranberry. They're going to say CL was uh, over the line under the net. What do you think? Yeah, that was that was uh, something. That uh, spike from CL over hit off a of Farringer's arms and went back up over the net. <laughs> And how about Burke on the right side again, getting another big kill here for the Lady Lions. They're up 22 to 13. Nap Greeley to serve here for the Lady Lions. A few points away. Coe puts it over. Nap Greeley, Smith. Here's Dunn. And it's going to be tipped that time by Barringer. It'll be 23-13 as Clarion Limestone gets the point here. Now Greeley with the serve. And that's in for the ace. Difference in this set, Clarion Limestone has played much more error-free but Cranberry on that first set was just on fire. <clears throat> so here we go, 24-13, set point here for Clary Limestone. Shook puts it over. Now Greeley, now Smith, Wyant, Rembold, it's into the net. Oh, nice job that time by Shook to put it over. Here's Smith with the fight. Co, Rembold. Risinger, and the ball kept alive, but it's a Cranberry point, 24-14. So that was Risinger on that left side. We'll get the kill that time. Serving will be Coe. Here's Coe. Point goes to Clary and Limestone, and they're going to have, I believe that was called a rotation error. Here's Co. Waiting. I think they wanted just a quick explanation there. Co puts it over the net. And how about that? Another point. 24 16. Co serving 24 16. Beggs, Smith. And they're going to call the carry that time on Smith, 24-17. Here come the Lady Berries now. Timeout's going to be taken by Ryan Traup over there for Clarion Limestone, 24-17. Want to let you know, too, coming up uh, this weekend here on EYT Sports on Friday night, we will have uh, over at Clarion Limestone High School. Central Clarion will welcome in uh, St. Mary's. The Flying Dutchman will have that for you. Pre-game at 6.30. Kickoff will be at 7 o'clock from Clarion Limestone High School. And don't forget, uh, tomorrow night, the final night of these Keystone Shortway Conference Gatesman's Auto Body Volleyball Championships. So we'll have the consolation match coming up at 6 and then the championship match at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. So that's all coming your way. Brett, are you going to be with us tomorrow night? I unfortunately will not be with you tomorrow night. Oh. Yeah. Big plans? Yeah, big plans, big plans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're in the hands of Chase? Chase, Oh, yeah. my. All right, we'll make it. All right, here we go, back to action. Ball tipped over that time. And an end of the net, Shook. Tried to get that over top of the net game. That'll be the set point, 25-17 for Clarion Limestone. So CL wins set number two. We're tied at one apiece, so we will take a timeout here. We'll pause, oh, I'll say a couple minutes, and we'll come back out to Tippin Gymnasium. Set number three on the way. We're tied at one apiece, and it's right here. Gatesman's Auto Body KSAC Volleyball Championships are on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com.
Want to cut your cooling costs this summer? With a highly efficient air conditioning system, you can save up to 50% in energy costs while enjoying more consistent temperatures throughout your home. Call Lutens Plumbing, Heating, and AC at 814-226-8695 to schedule a free evaluation of your system and learn how you can move up to a new level of comfort and efficiency this summer. So here it's uh, Tip and Gymnasium, Mike Kalinowski. And over here, Brett's been joining us from time to time and he's not talking to uh, Chase. Yep, Chase is over here now. I know, we'll have to be good. He, yeah. he, he runs a tight ship, but uh, boy, totally different set that time as Clary Limestone wins at 25 to 17 to tie things up at one. Yeah, yeah, they really got their game crisp up, got uh, rough parts smoothed out and they're looking a lot better now. Yeah, sometimes that's all it takes is that first loss and kind of wakes you up a little bit. Yeah. The Cranberry tough. They've been playing very, very well. They're very strong, of course, with Faringer up in the middle. And we'll see what happens here in set number three. We're tied at one apiece. So here we go. We're underway. Big swing by Beggs. And Beggs will get the kill from the left side. One ought here, Clarion Limestone. You know what ought means, right? No, I do not. It means zero. So the old way, that, that's a Mike Kilroy thing. Kilroy, yeah, okay. Front, big swing by Faringer. Faringer with the kill in the middle here for the Lady Berries, and we're tied at one apiece. Serving will be Rembold. Dug up by Nap Greeley. Oh, and Burke and Smith were going to run into each other. A little miscommunication. 2-1 here in favor of Cranberry. Rembold with the serve. Dunn, Smith. Burke tips it over, and it is out of bounds. How about we're tied at two here now? So Cranberry comes right back down 2-0. They tied at two apiece. Nap Greeley to Smith. Dunn in the middle. And it's going to go off of Shoemaker and out of bounds. So three, two, or it should be. Is that reversed? Nope, I guess no, it's all right. No. So three to two in favor of Cranberry here. Legs on the serve. Here's Faringer. And Faringer's going nice. to get the kill. Just an easy one over the net. Yeah, nice little tip there. So 4-2 to two here. Cranberry leading here in this third set. 1-1, one, one, we're tied. Faringer. Sends it over. Now Greeley. And how about Greeley with the big kill in the middle? Good set that time by Smith, and it's 4-3. Serving is Greeley. Wine back in the middle there for Clarion Limestone. Here's Greeley serve. Dug out by Watson. Nice job putting it over the net that time by Rembold. Done. And it's going to go off of Watson. 4-4, four, four, we're tied. Greeley. Dribbles the volleyball a couple times, ready to go. Serve dug out by Watson. 
Rembold. Put over the net by uh, Shook. Into the middle. Wyant. And it is out. Wyant's hit goes a little wide. And 5-4 here. Cranberry leads. Watson ready. Snap Greeley. They get over there is Smith. Middle. Shook hits it into the net that time. 5-5, five, five, we're tied. Got you mic'd up there, Brett. If you see anything uh, you want to talk about, go right ahead. I was just watching. I think we have Ethan Knox in the building right now. Oh, really? Now. Yes, over to your left there. All right, yep. Ethan Knox. There you go. Now the D10 leading all-time rusher. Boy, a lot of celebrities here tonight yeah, from all over the place. Yes. We had Kalen Rurick in the building earlier for the Red Bank game. Wow. Here's uh, Dunn knocks it off there, and Faringer can't control it. That'll get the kill. Yep. Yeah, you've, you've been paying attention there. There's a lot, yeah. of, a lot of folks. Really neat, too, because this brings a lot of people out to watch. Yeah, it brings a Clarion County community together, I think. It, yep. It's a fun event. And even a few folks from the oil region, huh? Yes. Co. Put over by Reisinger. Smith. And how about Wyant that time with the big kill? 7-5. Clarion Limestone now with a two-point advantage again. It's 26-24. Cranberry in the first, 25-17. Clarion Limestone in the second. Now Greeley. Off of Watson. Nice save there that time by Coe. And then they do get it over. Great job by Cranberry. Here's Dunn on the attack. And it's blocked and then goes out of bounds. Yeah, I'd, this would be the first time that I can remember that Cranberry has been to Tip and Jim for an event like this but between basketball and then this being the first time for volleyball. Okay. I'm trying to think if it was for any basketball. I can't. Re I don't think so. Ball to the middle, hit over the net that time by Shook. Here's a Dunn. Watson sends it up front to Coe, to the middle. Shook has it dug out there, Smith. Ball tipped over, Coe with the dig. Watson back to the middle, Shook's gonna put it over the net. Begs, Smith, Dunn, Dunn on that back corner, and it's gonna go out of bounds. 9-5. See, the next time the ball comes over, I want you to palm it just like I did. Okay, there. yeah. Brett's like, I don't know. I'll <laughs> catch it in the air. <laughs> Nav Greeley up front. And uh, Shook hits that over the net. Nav Greeley back to Smith. Smith's going to set it up to the middle. Wind with a big swing. Good dig, Faringer backside. Ball to um, Coe. And then dumped in by Risinger. She'll get the kill that time. Good job. 9-6. Our score. Staying close. Cranberry's keeping in it. Oh, with the serve. Smith to Dunn. Dunn with the big hit. Faringer puts it up into the net. And uh, they're going to call the carry there. That was a toughie, too, because, boy, when it hits the bottom of the net like that, yeah. lets you get a good bounce off the net, it's hard to play. Yeah, those are rough to corral. Here's Dunn. Oh, nice job that time um, by Coe. And Watson puts it over. She just had to kind of protect herself, did, and kept it alive. Here's Smith going over here to Lyon. Good dig by uh, Faringer up front, Risinger. Dig on the back line by Nap Greeley. And now that's uh, Beggs. Coe back into the uh, playing surface to Shook. Smith. Beggs. Lyon, nice job as Watson kept it alive. Here's Smith to the middle. Kicked over, and that uh, dig is going to go out of bounds, and Wyatt will get the kill in the middle. And it makes it 11-6 now, Clarion Limestone. Clarion Limestone starting to add to that lead. They're up by five. Don, though, with the service error, and that gives Cranberry the point. They're down by four. Choke serving. Now Greeley. 
And they're going to call the carry on Smith. 11-8, three-point uh, set here now. Cranberry working their way right back into it. Choke with the serve. Here's Beggs. Co Beggs again. And now Smith has to get it over and does. There's Watson. Reisinger playing tough there. That's Rembold up at the net. Smith now over to Beggs. Beggs off of Co Watson brings it back up front to Faringer. Smith. And the ball goes off of the fingertips up front of Faringer and out of bounds 12 8. You know, this is exciting. Uh, this event, having the volleyball here like they do with the basketball for the high school tour championship games. It really is. And the crowd started to move in more in this uh, second match tomorrow night. Hopefully, good crowd for that championship one. And this serve is going to go out of bounds by Wyant. The service there, 12 9. Well dug by Dunn. Big swing that time by Beggs, but it's blocked up there by Faringer. 12-10. What a big block. Cranberry's working their way back into this one. They're sticking right there, getting some crucial, crucial plays when it's needed. Well, they were down by five, now down by two. And that's going to go long. Service error makes it 13-10. Service errors are tough. I'll tell you, used to be, of course, when I played back in high school and stuff like that, you had to be serving in order to, to get any points. And now they have the rally scoring. The point's going to go for Clarion Limestone here on that ace. You don't, you don't remember any of that. No, I do not. And the games would go to 15, actually, and yeah. you'd have to win by two. But you could only score if you were serving. Now, of course, with the rally scoring. Everything is a point. Faringer hits it into the net this time. You can see disappointed with herself that time. That was a hard hit to make there in the middle. Larry Linestone back by five. Another service error. So 15-11, Cranberry now. This is Rembold to serve. Matt Greeley with the dig. Dunn in the middle, it sends it long, 15 to 12. Pretty much what we expected. Back and forth here, 15 to 12. Rembold to Smith. Big swing that time by Burke. Greeley keeps it alive, Smith on the back side. Beggs has it blocked, and the point on the left side. Beringer with the uh, kill, it's 15-13. Back to two points again. Rembold. And Rembold gets the ace. 15-14. Some good serves from Cranberry and some mishaps from CLs bringing Cranberry back into this one. Sure are. Here we go, right up front. Burke sends it over the net. Good job by Burke not to go over that line. Into the middle, Faringer is just going to push it over on that third hit. Here's Smith in the middle. Burke with the big hit. Faringer's going to get the block, but it goes out of bounds, and it's 16-14. Clarion Limestone. Serving his bags. And it's going to hit that uh, antenna. 17-14. If it didn't, boy, that was a nice return that time. Yeah, I just hit it. Beg serving again. And that is nice job that time by Faringer to save it and right over the net. Good job by Cranberry. Here we go. Burke with the big hit. That's uh, Rembold. Ball back up, and Rembold's going to put it over the net. Smith. To uh, Dunn, and Dunn will get the kill in the back line. 18 14, Clary and Limestone. Good communication there from Cranberry to keep with it there for a little while. Beggs. Dug out by Shoemaker. Faringer dumping it. Good dig that time by Beggs to send it over the net. 
Faringer in the middle. And uh, the carry is going to be called here on Clarion Limestone. Cranberry gets the point, 18-15. Faringer to serve. Substitution there from Cranberry. Moving some more folks in here. Smith setting it up. Burke puts it over the net. Faringer up front to Rimble. Rimble's going to be called for the two hit. Double hit there. Just kind of came off awkward off of her hands there. So 19-15, Dunn serving. Or excuse me, that's uh, Greeley serving. Ball pushed over the net by Stewart. Smith puts it over for Clarion Limestone. Co. And Stewart back over the net. Pushed over by Dunn. Bearing her with the dig to the middle. And the Lions can't get it back there, and that is going to be um, shocked with the uh, point here, 19-16. It's a three-point advantage again. Cranberry crawling right back into it. Served by Watson. And it goes out, service error. So 20-16. Nap Greeley, the serve, Watson intercepts it. Rembold, Watson to back over. Smith is going to set it up. Here's Dunn, off of Faringer. Well hit over by Coe. Here's Dunn. Faringer, nice job. And we're going to have the two, yeah, it's a double. They're going to call her into that. Could have been a double hit too that time, 20 to 17. What a save there by Faringer. That yeah. was a diving save. Co-serving. Beg Smith. Here's Dunn. It's blocked, but it's going to come down out of bounds, 21-17. Will not fault effort. It, there's effort all over this court tonight. 21-17. Here we are, set number three. 1-1, one, one, we're tied. Dunn with the serve, Faringer with the uh, dig. Reisinger puts it over, Wyant to Dunn and now Beggs, and Beggs is gonna hit it out of bounds and it's 21-18. Looking up, Beggs' grandparents are sitting across from us in the stands and they weren't happy. <laughs> no, they're nice folks, real good people. Here's the Beggs again with the hit. Kept alive here by Cranberry. Pushed over the net by Rembold. But it's going to go out of bounds. Lady Lions, sub 22 18. You were at CL for a while, weren't you? Was there for five years, yeah. Then they were like, please leave. He's <laughs> <laughs> Watson up front. Rembold setting it up to Faringer. Smith. Here's Beggs. Go for the back line by um, Sh Sh uh, Shoemaker, then over the net. Going to call that carry, or they're going to call the double hit on Smith. 22 19 now. Reisinger serving. Done up to Smith. Smith puts it over. Rembold, middle. Faringer hits it into the net. Boy, Faringer wanted that bad, too. That set just wasn't high enough that time, 23-19. Yeah, she crushed the ball into the net there. It was hard. I think I heard the net say, ouch. <laughs> ball up front, battle there. Rumbled to Faringer, blocked up front. And there it is, point. Good job up front by Greeley with the block. Block, and it's 24-19, Clarion Limestone. Boy, this has not been... An easy go for the undefeated Lions. Cranberry has really come in here and played really well tonight. Watson up front. Faringer puts it over the net. Here's Smith setting it up to Beggs. Beggs, it's blocked, but the Lady Lions get the point. 25 to 19. Clary and Limestone up two sets to one. We'll go to set number four after this quick timeout. We'll pause a couple minutes. Set number four on the way, and you're watching Gatesman's Auto Body KSAC Volleyball Championships. They're right here on Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com.
Best of luck this season to all our local football teams. From your one-stop car, truck, and SUV dealer, Clarion Ford Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Visit us on Main Street in Clarion or start online at clarionauto.com. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. You can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. Back at Tippin Gymnasium, Scott Kendall, the athletic director down at the Union High School. Big talk right now. I know uh, it's been all over social media and uh, a lot of discussions going on with uh, Keystone Union and AC Valley joining up uh, for their sports. It's one of those things. You went to Keystone, Brad, and you know we've seen it more and more and more. And for these schools to even field some teams, it's almost like. Um, it's almost like a given now that a lot of these schools are going to have to join up. Yeah, I mean, my 10th grade year in soccer, I didn't have a team. I didn't get to play my 10th grade year. And I know the boys' team again this year did not get to play because they did not have enough players for a team. Yep, so you'd rather see so, uh, players play than yeah. have that opportunity. Yeah, it will be more and more as the time goes on. All right, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, the... Matter at hand, Gates and Zotto Body Case Sack Volleyball Championship here on EYT. And we go to set number four. The Lions will get things going here. Served by Wyant. Boys out returned that time by Cohen right over the net. Smith over here to Beggs. Beggs. Wow. Big uh, attack that time. Faringer puts it over the net, though, for Cranberry. Here's Smith on the backside. Greeley goes off of Coe. Nice job by Watson and back over. Now Clarion Limestone, and the point goes to Cranberry. Boy, that was hard fought back and forth. Yeah, I, I think Co caught one to the face a little bit there at the end of it. She's, she's still like, out there. it stings a bit, but she's not going up. Yeah, she's in there for <laughs> You the can battle. see her. Served by Reisinger, goes into the net. We're tied at one apiece. Here we go, Smith serving here for Clarion Limestone. Ball hit into the net, Faringer. Real low return there by Shoemaker that time. Not her fault, that serve was, was kind of dipping on her. It was coming down toward the court. Two on. Co oh, that time, same kind of serve. You see, those are so hard to handle. You're in that middle ground, you, yeah. you put your hands down, you have your hands up. Yeah. You might hard. even see the coach say, take a step up. Yeah. Their, their return there, and it's going to almost go out of bounds, but nice job. Watson kicks it out. That was a good save that time by Stewart. Right in the middle, fight for the ball. Greeley kept it alive, and it goes out of bounds. Clarenberry will get the point here. It's 3-2. Oh, to two. Rembold back to serve here for Cranberry. Now Greeley. Smith. And hit over there by Dunn. It's got to go over. And good job that time by Shoemaker to hit it over. Ball in the middle. Greeley puts it over the net. Shoemaker with the dig. Rembold puts it to the middle. Faringer with a big hit. Does not go over the net that time. Just hit into the net. Four to two here, Clarion Limestone. Clarion Limestone up two to one. Of course, it is the best of five. With that last set going to 15. Stewart set it up for Faringer, dumped it in. Nice job by Beggs. And the ball's going to be right in. Nice job, Faringer coming right back. 
Beggs with a good dig, but Faringer putting it right back down, and it's four to three. Crushing hit there. You're talking two to one. Uh, talk going to, into other sports leagues. Uh, Red Bank beat CL boys, boys game, in soccer last night, two to one. Oh, okay. Close game, both very yeah. good teams. And then the Clarion girls lost a thriller in overtime to Red Bank girls down at Red Bank that time. So, saw so, that this morning. Some good close matches all the way around. That one goes out of bounds. 5-3, Clarion Limestone. Here's a serve by Greeley. Watson. And Co up front to Remble, puts it over the net. Really to Smith, Smith to the middle, tipped over. Watson's there, Co put it to the middle to uh, Shook. And hit out of bounds, she'll get the kill in the middle. Point, Paris. Watson to serve. Watson serving here for the Lady Berries. 5-4 now. Smith setting it up to Dunn, Dunn with and they're going to call the carry here. Done with the big kill. There was nothing that time that Rembold could really do. That ball was like catapulting at her at the yeah. speed of light. At her knees at that. 6 4 here. Nab Greeley. Tipped over the net by Rembold. Smith setting it up to Dunn. Dunn hits it long, and it's 6 5. Also talking about other sports, it seems we have uh, a Thursday night game this week for football. Yeah, there's a, what, a Red Bank and Brockway? Yeah, down at Brockway. Co sets it over the net. Dunn back over up front. Ball tipped. Fight there. Good job by Co again. Kind of playing a little catch there with Dunn. Smith puts it over. Good dig by Faringer. Dunn, Smith, back to Dunn again. Dunn, it's tipped in. It will be a coming in limestone point. Dunn will get the kill from this left side. So 7-5, Lions. 2-1, Lions lead Cranberry. Tell you what, this has been a good one. Dunn sends it long, 7-6. So these teams, again, come back tomorrow night. Sure, Consolation sure. match. Whoever drops this one. And then the championship match. So more volleyball coming tomorrow night. Here's heard by uh, Shook. And a big swing there by Wyant. Farringer will get the kill on that left side on the block. 7-7, seven, seven, we're tied. So Cranberry right back at it. Dig by Beggs. Attacked by Wyant. And it goes to Cranberry. Cranberry on fire right now. They're up 8 7. Ball to the middle. And the ball hits into the net. Into the net again. And the point will be for Clarion Limestone. Wyant will get that point for the Lady Lions. She'll go back to serve. We're tied at 8. Wyant for the back line. <clears throat> the got by Watson. Rembold over to Faringer. Smith. Get over by Dunn. Dig by Coe. Rembold to the middle to Faringer. Faringer has it blocked and it's right into the official's hand. Point goes to Cranberry. Big kill that time by Faringer in the middle. It's 9-8 Cranberry. Reisinger with the serve. Smith, oh, just off the top of the net, put that over. Rembold for Cranberry. Now Smith again. Here's uh, Beggs. Beggs with the hit, and that is in. Right down the line, and Clary and Limestone ties it at nine. Kaylee Smith for the Lady Lions. Watson setting it up to the middle to Faringer. And it's off the top of the net. Doesn't make it over that time. 10-9, 
Clary and Limestone. Lady Lions and Cranberry 2-1 Clary and Limestone. Smith, Cole with the dig. Faringer has it blocked in the front there by Greeley. Right back to Faringer. Puts it in, dug out, kept alive, put over by Burke. Great job, Lady Lions that time. Here's on the other side, Rembold, hit over by um, Stewart. And Burke is going to hit it into the net, and uh, it's 10-10. We're tied again. We got a battle here. It's a big-time battle. Ball hit into the net that time by Rembold for the service error, 11-10. It's almost as big of a battle as you see when Chase and his sister fight. Our Hager paving player of the game last year up at North Clarion. Chase and yes. his sister, yeah. Yes. She wins. Ball served over and comes down, fight it to net. Dunn keeps it alive here for Clarion Limestone. Dunn's going to put it back over the net. Rembold to the middle. Faringer pushes it to the back line. Nap Greeley up front to Smith. Burke had the hit over the net in the middle. Faringer blocked, and it comes down out of bounds. Greeley had the block, but it comes out of bounds. 11-11, we're tied. Faringer with the serve. They hit in the middle that time. Beggs hits it into the net, and now Cranberry leads 12-11. Faringer serving, 12-11 Cranberry. They're going to call the carry against Clarion Limestone. Now Cranberry by two here. 13-11 Cranberry. That really to Smith. Dunn with the big hit. Goes off of Rembold. Faringer and then over by Coe. Good job by Coe to get that over the net. Smith to Dunn. Dunn with the big hit and it's tipped and it's in for the point. 13 12. That was a rocket. Greeley to serve now for the Lady Lions. 12 11 or 13 12, excuse me. The score here said number four. Off the top of the net. Boy, you. That's a tough one to do. Watson tried to make a good play there. That's just a hard one to handle. 13-13. Ace there for Greeley. Watson. Rembold. Uh, that is the shook. And it goes uh, a little bit long that time. So the point goes to Clarion Limestone, 14-13. Greeley on the serve. Cole. And Shook hits it over the net. Greeley with the return. Smith over to Dunn. Dunn puts it down. Good job there that time. Dig by Faringer. And the whole process there for Cranberry to get it back over the net. Here's Dunn again. Faringer intercepts. Watson comes up front. Tipped over the net by um, Stewart. And Dunn that time. Faringer brings it right up front. Tipped over the net by Cole. Smith. Burke. Burt, and it's out of bounds. Point for Cranberry, we're tied at 14. Neck and neck in this one. This is great. Watson on the serve. Ball comes up to Dunn. Barringer with the dig. Coe, Reisinger. Yep, Greeley, now Dunn. Dunn will get the kill. That was just put in the right spot. Cranberry was all over the place, but just the perfect spot that time at 15-14. Matt Greeley <clears throat> serving here for Curry Limestone. Watson, Coe, Reisinger. Greeley, Smith puts it over. Watson's there. Rembold. Reisinger, Reisinger with the kill from the left side. And it's 15-15. So here we are, 15-15 in the fourth set. 
Clarion line set up 2 1. Dug out. To the middle. And there's the kill in the middle by Wyant. 16 15, Lady Lions. Done to serve here for Clarion Limestone. Hits it into the net on that jump serve. 16 16, we're tied. Yeah. Fight at the net. Barringer wins the battle with Smith that time. If we had the rules from back in your day, we'd be. At 0-0 zero, zero still probably is. I think so. <laughs> Here's the ball, and it's set up, and uh, Bags put it over, but returned there by Rembold. Rembold setting it back up to the middle. Barringer, and the block in the middle by Wyant, and we're tied at 17. Just seems like one team serves, then the next team serves the next time. It's yeah. one after another. Back and forth we go. Wyatt serving. And that's it. Right in on that line. 18-17. Nice serve by Wyatt that time. Just catching the line. Wyatt's going to switch sides. She started on the left, goes to the right. You have that whole back line to serve from. Wyatt dug out by Coe. Rembold and hit over by Faringer. Here's the attack by Dunn, but she's going to hit it long, and it's 18-18. Boy, this one could come down to overtime. Yeah, this is going to be close. Risinger. Very called here on Larry Limestone. 1918 Cranberry. All hit over to the middle. Big swing that time by Beggs. Faringer kept it alive. A good job by her at the net. Here's Beggs again hitting it. Co up front. Faringer puts it up. Stewart puts it over the net. Burke with the dig. Fight at the net. And it is going to be clearing a limestone point here. 1919 kill. On that right side by Burke. Yeah, and Cranberry needs to win this one to stay in to force a fifth set, too. So. And they're right there, too. 19-19 is where we're at. Smith just over the net. Coe up front to Rembold, to the middle, to Faringer. And how about Faringer? The power that she has in the middle. It's 20-19. This has been a match of epic proportions tonight here between these two. Back and forth we've gone. They've been close the whole way. Rimbold with the serve, and it goes long. 2020, we're tied. Said that how many times in this one? Like a broken record. Yeah, same score. Yep. Do you know what a record is? Yes, All right. I do know what a record is. <laughs> Here's the serve by Beggs. Watson with the return. Dunn at the net. Coe, Faringer. Now Greeley with the dig. Greeley with the attack. Here's Coe again. Pushed over by Watson. Smith with the intercept. Now Greeley. Dunn has to get it over and does. Ball up front. Coe in the middle to Faringer. Sends it all the way to the back, but it's out. 21 20, Clary and Limestone. That was a smart play there. That back corner was wide open. If she, if she would have even caught the line, there was nobody close. Beggs with the serve. Watson with the dig. Co up front. Stewart puts it over. Blocked. And it's the point. How about that? Greeley with the uh, kill in the middle. 22-20, Clevering and Limestone. Jennifer Stover, the coach for Cranberry, wants a timeout here to talk things over. It's a two-point match here. And why don't we take a quick timeout, too? It is Gatesman's Auto Body, KSAC Volleyball, right here on the EYT Media Network.
All right, here we go. The timeout was taken by Coach Stover for Cranberry. 22-20, Columbia Limestone leads. The winner of this moves on to the championship round. Here we go, Stewart setting it up for Farringer. Blocked at the line, and it goes to Cranberry. It's out as it hit that antenna. Boy, barely hits that antenna, but it is enough. That was very close there. 22-21, Farringer serving. Turned by Farringer. They got by Beggs. Smith to the middle. Dunn. There's Watson. Coe to the middle. Shock hits it over the net. Smith back to the middle. Dumped in by Dunn. And it's 23-21, Lady Lions. Very smart play there. And we said sometimes the best one doesn't have to be the hardest hit. That's very true. Here's Greeley. I got by, um, that was dug out by Farringer, but the Lady Lions get the point. And up front, Dunn up there, and Lyons, 24-21. Here it is, match point for the Lady Lions to move on to the KSAC Championship uh, match tomorrow night. Right off the top of the net, dig by Watson. Good job by her. Here's Watson pushing it back over. Smith. Pushes it over, there's Farringer up front from Bold. Shook back line, Smith, Burke. Good dig by Farringer, up front to Coe. Middle, Shook, kept alive here, here's Dunn. Dunn puts it down, Farringer with the dig. Coe puts it over the net. There's Beggs up to Smith, Smith comes right back over to Dunn. Ball in the middle to Watson. Stewart puts it over, Smith, middle. And good save by Farringer. Fight at the net. And it's won by Wyatt. 25 to 21. Clarion Limestone with the win. That was a hard fought battle the whole way through. It was a tough one. And we'll have Steve Smale going over. I think uh, Chase is going to go catch the player of the game here. We're going to bring that to you. See if Chase is going to do that. Please drive home safely. So there he goes. Steve Smale's heading over for the player of the match tonight. Steve's going to come over and tell us. What's that? Yeah, that's fine. All right, we're just chatting there with Steve. And Steve's going to go over, and we're going to get the player of the match. Hopefully we can catch before Dave uh, Constantino leaves that announcer's booth. He's in a hurry. He's got to do some golfing tomorrow with the high school kids from uh, Clarion. You said he's going to Hershey. Yeah, they have the match tomorrow. Wow. That's the state championship, is it? Uh, I believe that is for those. Uh, Steve Smale waiting here as they talk over and we'll get Chase with our player of the match brought to you by Hager Paving tomorrow night we'll be here at 6 o'clock and uh, then following at 8 o'clock with the consolation match and then the final so coming together here and uh, Steve's going to get See Steve there with Chase. Steve's calling for Jenna to come out. There she is. And there it is. Jenna Dunn, the Haker Paving player of the match here tonight, getting her plaque. Congratulations going out to her for a job well done. Good job by Chase out there. Again, uh, the final scores here. Cranberry won the first set 26-24, but then it was Clarion Limestone 25-17, 25-19, 25-21 to wrap things up here in this. We'll be back on uh, the air tomorrow night. Hope you can join us. want to thank my partner, uh, Brett English, who did a fantastic job in the second, Mike Kilroy in the first. Um, also, Chase Steinman uh, doing the great filming from uh, the floor, Ben Jewett, all the folks here at Clarion University. Um, again, it is Clarion, Clarion Limestone tomorrow night in the championship round here of the Keystone Shortway Conference Championship. You've been watching Gatesman Auto Body, KSAC Volleyball, 
It's been right here on Explore Clarion D9Sports.com. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.